like is there any curiosity of how of what you what has been going like what went on went on the freak party freak off do you have any curiosity for it the thing the the thing I really, I'm really curious about. I need Usher to say some shit, bro. <laughs> I need Usher to say something. Why are you? Why or Usher's parents, bro? I don't think Usher's parents even know when he was 14 years old, being oh, the finger ch- came out. chilling, chilling with yeah, the fingers coming out, bro. <laughs> when he was 14 years old, chilling with Diddy, talk about um sugar. I forgot sugar camp, whatever. Yeah, the ca- old, they, old sugar baby camp. Uh, some I forgot what it was called, it was bro. A- <laughs> but. Usher was with Diddy for like about a week or something at the crib. He said some shit happened, bro. I want to know what happened. I want to know what happened, bro. (laughs) Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of No Regas Podcast. Episode number. You want to guess, Fritz? Oh, I forgot to move your microphone over. My fault. Uh, 158. It's 157. Nah, you was right the first time. It was 158? 15- yeah. Damn. Yeah, it's all good, bro. Welcome back to another episode of No Regs Podcast. I'm your host, DW, aka Darius. I'm here with my co-host, Fritz. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down below. Post notifications. Shout out to all our sponsors. Shout out to SeatGeek. Shout out to Prize Picks. Use No Regulars on SeatGeek to get $20 off any orders over $50 or more. And use code No Regulars if you're new to Prize Picks. If you add $5 in for your first picks or entries, you will get $50 back guaranteed. Win, lose, or draw. So people, you're getting your money's worth. Tune into that. You get 10 times your money's back. If you win, if you lose, or if you don't even put, or if you don't even, they don't even score. You know what I'm saying? Use code No Regulars in the comments. But we got a lot of stuff to talk about today. Fritz, we got a lot of, you know, current events to talk about. We got a lot of current events that weren't on the news today. And we're going to do a lot of games at the end of the podcast. But first, before we start the podcast, I just want to ask, how are you living, bro? Everything good with you? Yeah, everything been, you know, I can't complain about everything that's been going on in my life. You know, I'm feeling blessed. Of course, man. healthy. Exactly. That's good, that's man. All, that's all that matters. Exactly. How about you? I'm straight, man. You know, just, you know, no, you know what it is now? I'm not in school, so I'm trying to get back to the flow of stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I don't got to worry about no homework. I don't got to worry about no exam coming up. So now... We just on the grind finding a job. I got a job interview tomorrow, people. Yes, sir. You know, clap it up. We about to make some money, finally. And I realized, bro, I really haven't been making no money, like, my whole life, bro. I don't know how I made this far. What the fuck? But you got to think, like, <laughs> think, you gotta think about it, bro. I only had one job my entire life. I worked at the Dome for my whole... Like, that was my only job I ever had. Yeah. And I would get paid... The the most I ever got paid in two weeks was maybe $1,000. You gotta show it in perspective, though. They they were paying for your school too. No, this is before that. Oh yeah, then you're. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's wrong with that you. Was, yo, it was how ba- many hours did you work for that? Uh, thousand. It was a lot. Of, yeah, it was only a thousand, bro. In two weeks. In two weeks, that was the most I ever that's, made. That's and that was that's, one. That's the most. That's not consistently. That's slavery, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I realized. I'm like, yo, I really haven't been making that much bread, and yeah. then, like, like. When I was a graduate assistant, I would make four hundred every two weeks. Mm. Yeah, bro. But that's when they were paying for just, my school. Okay. But like, still, I don't know how. No, four hundred is crazy. <laughs> Yo. Especially when you are like, I get it. They paying for school, but like, as a grown adult, as a grown man, <laughs> four hundred. How you live? On? I don't know, bro. I don't know how I made this, this wrong, was, bro. There's no way you would you you'd be buying it like. There's no way. <laughs> Yo. There's no way. Hey, shout out my mom, shout out my family, shout out my parents. They hold, they held it down, bro. Oh, right, if bro. it wasn't for them, I don't want to be, we nah, wouldn't be doing this. 400 in like two weeks. Bro. Yes, bro. You would have to last for two weeks. For 400, 400 out. Yes, bro. Nah, that's OD. And think about it. It's not, it's not even just me. It's me and, me and Jay. Because mm. you know, having a girlfriend is bread, bro. Mm-hmm. So, oh my gosh. I don't know how I did it, bro. Especially when I wasn't even, when I wasn't even in, um, like uh, what's it called? When I wasn't even a grad assistant and I was just working as like a regular student worker, I was probably making like on average. I was probably making a little more towards the end, but in the beginning, I was making like three, four hundred every two weeks. But then think about it: if I'm not if I'm not working, like I'm in basketball season, I'm not making no money from October to February. Mm. So for what's that? Five months, no bread coming in, <laughs> nothing, bro. I don't know how you live. I don't bro. know, bro. That's good now. That yeah, you're getting your money now. Yeah. Bro. You know, let's see. Hopefully this job goes well. But the first thing we're going to talk about before we get into anything, we got some current events to talk about, bro. P. Diddy got arrested yesterday. Finally. (laughs) 
fine. I ain't gonna lie. They should have been caught him, bro. Bro, isn't he like facing um like racketeering? Racketeering, yes. Was it, I think human trafficking too? Human, let me see. There's a list. There's a whole lot, bro. There's a list. And they, I think they denied bail too because yeah, they did deny bail. Yeah, they did deny bail. I think out. for this. Was the second time? Yes, the second time. The first time I think he had bail and he bailed himself out. Yeah. So this time he's like, nah, you ain't getting, you getting away yeah, with he's this, buddy. Facing life in prison for racketeering, sex trafficking, maximum maximum life in prison, prison, minimum fifteen years, transportation force, po- prostitution. What is that? Transportation. I think that's mo- I think that's oh, moving, the, moving girls the girls to the crib yeah, for the, yeah. the. I mean, this stuff is explanatory. Bro, you know they, they said they, they had maximum ten years. Oh, ma- oh, maximum for, or for, minimum for, ten years? No, maximum ten years for uh, transportation. Oh, for really? Yeah, oh my bro. gosh! So, but okay. Uh, wait, wait, what was you gonna say? Before? No, I was gonna say they had they got all the the footage from the di- from the freak offs, bro. Oh, they got footage. Yeah, they got all the footage from all the they have. Did you know <laughs> they went to his crib, found thousands of baby lo- yes! baby oil. <laughs> What dude? What are niggas buying that many, that much baby oil for? Bro. I know, but that is crazy. <laughs> imagine, imagine you're the police officer and you find that. Yo, like it's like, bro, like <laughs> a thousand bottles, a thousand. Bro, a baby oil is a little bigger than this. It's, so imagine yeah, a thousand yeah, of these things, yeah, bro. Bro, that's he had that's that what that deck, nigga bro. spent his bread on. Nah, what was baby going on? Oil. What was going on? No, nah, like what else you need, baby? Oil okay, for? I know it's a freak off though. They said it's a freak. It's, they said it's one on ones, bro. Like they they fighting, but I'm thinking like butt, fighting. I'm thinking butt naked fighting. Hell, maybe maybe the butt <laughs> naked fighting or nigga fucking <laughs> mad niggas, bro. <laughs> and nigga the baby oil, bro. No, I'm bro. No. Seriously, bro. That's sick, bro. Seriously, and thousands. I, yeah. Yo, imagine being a fucking uh, delivery. Driver, <laughs> they get just thousands of baby, I just know. hundreds of baby oil. That's sick, bro. Like you gotta send it to that nigga crib, like. And you know what I heard too? They so how they got him was they got they they got his like assistants and like security guards, and they'll take him in and be like, "Yo, you're facing like thirty years, whatever." Oh, so they for conspiracy like, with them. So if you don't tell us where you at, <laughs> we gonna you gonna get arrested. Oh, basically they they put them they 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 hit him with the. Um, uh, what's that thing? What snitching? No, like the uh being a accomplice. Oh yeah, to, yeah, yeah. To, okay, accomplice okay. to the crime, bro. Mm. Because because think about it. Who you think getting that baby oil? Did he? Them. Yo, yeah, them. Yeah, <laughs> them. Get the baby oil. You know, you know, that is thousands of baby oil. That's a, that's and like he a had like like three ARs too, bro. Oh really? Yeah, he had, yeah, gun. Yeah, oh, he had some shit man, in there too. Bro. He had like mad like. You think it was thousands of baby oil in all of his houses or per house? Like how many houses did they raid? I was thinking. I thought it was like three. Oh, it was. I know. I know. Nah, it has to be than than a collective. It can't be just in one house. Because I know he had a crib in Miami, and then I think he has a crib around here, and then in LA, I think, or he sold. I think he has a bunch. But I know there was one in Miami. That's I think that was the main one that they raided. So that might have been where the that means that's probably where the baby oil. Bro, that means he has a room full of baby like this room filled with baby oil, bro. Yeah, that's some freaky stuff, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to even. Nah, there's a little bit of me that's like intrigued of what was going on. There has to you gay. No, (laughs) there has to be. There has to be. Nah, if he needs that much baby oil. (laughs) Then what's been going on day to day? That's what I'm that saying. That you need that much. I mean, I understand that. First of all, they gotta break. They gotta. Who who's the niggas that be going to the to the shit too? I don't bro? know who's going they to. Need, they need they need to air them niggas out too, <laughs> bro. Because I need to know that if y'all niggas watching grown men or whatever the case may be, uh huh, sliding around in baby oil. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Uh, in a party. That's what I'm saying. Know. Y'all need to be aired out too. Y'all niggas some freak ass niggas, bro. I feel like it be, it be the fucking, it be the fucking, it be the old, low, the old, yeah, it do be the old, it be ones. the old niggas, bro. The old white boy, it old be white, the old niggas, bro. the old white, uh, the the rich governors, niggas, bro. Yep. the rich the ones, politicians, the politicians. Yep. Yep. They be the weird ones, bro. They be the weird ones. Cause you know why they don't be getting no ass at home. Yeah, that, yeah. So, so, so did he like, be like, yo, mad freaky, bro? They did he be like, yo, I'll give you, I'll give you one of these girls, but you gotta do this for me. And then oh, him, that's OD. That's wild, though. I ain't oh, gonna lie, though. Do you think his kids knew? Mm. 
Like, do you nah. think he hid it from his kids? Like, yeah, he has to. But like, unless he was a, just a bold ass nigga, and said, he told hey, them, this is, what, <laughs> this is what I'm, this is what daddy doing. <laughs> <laughs> this is what daddy did. You know, into. you, 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 because somebody I, had to have found that baby or. Like, like so, his, one of his kids? Yeah, be like, Dad, why'd you go this baby off from? Unless he got a secret compartment. Unless he got a secret compartment. <laughs> but if he doesn't, then this, that's crazy. This has, but like, yo. it's like, as a man, bro, when you're doing something that crazy. Exactly. You don't want your kids to look at you differently. Exactly. If you give a fuck. Yeah, if you do care. If you care. But Diddy, but like, I feel like Diddy's the one that don't care. Yeah, right. He like, seems he, like he, he don't seems care. Like, he seems like he's like, this is what I do. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? But like, he was so, I mean, if he didn't care, he wouldn't, nah, bro, I don't know. It's because weird, he, bro. If, if, if he didn't care, I, I'd say like, he wouldn't like, tell keep, him? Like, no, it's not like he wouldn't tell him, but he wouldn't like, if the like the public would have known, like he would have oh. told the public too, like. But then again, too, that's, that's his wild. Career, that's his career, and yeah, he probably cares more about his career than. And he than was like, drugging them though. Like I heard drugging who? I heard he was drugging a couple of the people to do it. Like the people, some of the people weren't doing that from their free will. You know that, right? No, nah, I didn't know that. Because there was a there was a producer that came out that sued him before that he said <laughs> he said he went to the Diddy, one of his parties and he blacked out and he said he woke up in a bed next to Diddy, bro. Nah, you lie. I'm dead serious, bro. He said he wo- he blacked out and woke up next to a bed with like there was a bunch of girls, needs- and Diddy was laying there knocked out. But there was a bunch of girls around him too, I guess. But I guess Diddy because they they also said Diddy be walking on like his um security guards and his people. They have fanny packs full of like drugs and stuff. So they be like, yo, what you want? I got perks. I got my. I got all this stuff. And sometimes they go around, like, you know, the girls and stuff. They be roofing them. Yes, bro. Like that, bro. Like, yeah, bro. And then that's what that's what Diddy, that's why Diddy records it. So he can use it as blackmail. So he gets the politicians. He'll be like, he'll get them real drunk, get them real high. And then be like, oh, come to the room. Come to the room. I got a girl for you. Bring him up with a girl. And now they doing, they're not even in the right state of mind. They doing whatever. And then he got on film. Mm. So now... After after that next day, Diddy would be like, he'd be like, they'd be like, oh, what happened? And then he'll show them the footage. He'd be like, okay, now you work for me. Whatever I want in the state of New York, you gotta let it slide now. Mm. So that's how he got so much power, bro. That's how he got that damn key. Yeah, that time. Uh, I'm saying, bro. He probably got that politician, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that he got probably, the governor. Because what the fuck is Diddy having to? Get, what? Why? Why? Because I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like Diddy, like. We only knew Diddy because of, like, in the music industry. Yeah. Like, he really wasn't big on... I don't think he really that was big on, like, the philanthropy and, like, being one with the community. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, really yeah, see him with that. Yeah, I just yeah, seen him as a celebrity. Yeah, as a, yeah, and I didn't even know what he did for real. Yeah, me neither. Like, I, like I knew he made a couple songs. Yeah. I, 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 honestly, I only know one Diddy song. And it was last night with Keisha Cole. Yeah. I get it, Diddy. Yeah. That, you feel That's me? That's what I'm saying. That's the that only one. That was the only Diddy song that I know. And everything and I else. Knew, and everything else I knew. Oh. If if it was Diddy, I'm, I had to put Biggie. Right exactly. Next to yep. Yep. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But everything else, I didn't know what he did. Or maybe I thought I he was an actor. I also did. thought he was an actor. And uh, I think he was in. Mon- I think you know he wasn't. But is that being an actor? How many how many movies? How, it had how many to been less than five. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't that a being lot. an actor. Dude? Nah, I think he was more like a cameo. Like you know how D- right. you know how DJ Khaled being like random movies. Right, it was like that. Yeah, I, I feel like that. Don't, that don't I don't count. think that counts. So that's why I'm like, either either Biggie or like Mace. Yeah, and you feel me? But yeah. like, come on, bro. Like everything that's else. The only thing that I knew about. Him. So that's I was like, so I was like, yo, when I. Google his network. I'm like, yo, how's this nigga this rich? Like, exactly. You feel me? Like, <laughs> his one of his main like, artists freaking died. Yeah. I don't think he like he wasn't with. He I mean, was, he probably benefited greatly when he died, after he died. But like, but not like that but much. Not, but would it be that much? Yo? That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if he owns anything. Like, he might he might own some things like stocks and stuff. Or so that might be the thing. But like, nothing that I know of. Like, I would have to look through. Yeah, like, it's probably like yeah, yeah, like something. Like um to get the something big to get something yeah something something behind the scenes mm-hmm. like it can't be like it wouldn't be up front I doubt it would be some up front to, that shows oh yeah this nigga making bread yeah but like I'm like yo how's this nigga this rich yeah but like I know how Jay Z's rich yeah because he got Rock you know Nation I mean? he makes the rock, music nigga make music nigga nigga uh part nigga uh part owner of you mad feel stuff me? mad yeah. stuff shit so I'm like yeah this nigga okay that makes sense it's it's, it's there yeah you can see it mm-hmm. but Diddy I never knew 
I never understood, bro. So, I mean, um, it said uh, the the boss. Uh, I don't know if he was a boss, but like the person that because some people like I don't know one of the bodyguards. Um, yeah, what's his name? He was a former bodyguard. He's like, yo, Diddy was never like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, seriously, seriously. He's like, he's like, you didn't come to the game like this. You feel me? But like, there was this. Uh, I forgot what his name was, but he, he was like, I, I guess a music, like, uh, like an artist. Yeah. yeah, no, he oh, was an artist. He, he was, was like in the industry. Yeah, though. one of the white niggas. You know, the uh, white people behind the scenes that making mad bread. Off yeah, me. yeah, yeah. You feel me? And he was like, I guess that's what Diddy is. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But like, he was like, once him and Diddy, you know, started working together because he, I guess he's the one who showed Diddy all the ropes. Yeah, like, yeah. You know. Once him and Diddy started working together, you know, shit, like... He started getting weird? He started weird. acting weird. He started, <laughs> like, you know, that guy, you know, has been, you know, they was... Uh, together like, all the time? Together all the time. And there was, uh, like, um, rumors about that nigga, that white nigga, like, being with minors and shit oh, like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, like, that shit, like... Did he probably, you know, that rubbed off on him? Yeah, because you know, shit, you know, you know like, he was going to them little Swedish massage. What, what was that thing called? The the little hot massages. Yeah, he was going to them things. Yeah, with I'm the telling rich you, white bro, people. Yo, them 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 old rich white people, white people, bro. They be the movie. Them boy. niggas be wilding. Yeah, them <laughs> niggas be wilding. Like because like I don't get it. I'm though. telling you, bro. It be the weirdos that become rich. They be, because I'm telling. Yeah, it be the weirdo. Exactly. Yeah, be the weirdos that become rich because it's like. Them niggas be like, they they probably married to that one person for twenty something years or thirty years or whatever the case may be, and they're rich. Yeah, they can't be with one person by <laughs> you feel me. But like, first of all, I don't, I, I never understood like going for the kids. That's just no. crazy. As <laughs> that's like, OD. That's there's OD, there's no like, excuse. There's that. no excuse for that. But like, they just be so undeniably horny yeah I guess. i'm like, like they dang. just be tweaking like they be wallet so it's like i, don't, I never understood that shit bro like, and you know what it is bro and it's like a lot of the rich old people that's what those are the people that be like the sugar daddies yeah 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 oh yeah i'm like dang like where's your wife at you don't got no bro, wife no they, friends bro you know like i guess you know that's sick, they're not bro. getting none and I know that you know the the wives the wives like they they they're cool with just not like just being a wife yeah and not they they don't think oh they they probably think like you know they've had that we've had sex plenty of times this and the third <laughs> throughout our years being together like yeah you know you know just time to chill out or whatever I know <laughs> the but like, niggas be wanting more <laughs> I don't get it though like they they like 80 60 70 that junk still work they probably don't but they, <laughs> they be still horny? need the feeling bro they need more bro nah, they, that's they, so they, bad like, bro 50 years of, of sexual activity with that one person isn't, isn't enough bro that's sick they bro. be old and just horny bro nah that's so bad as bro. Nigga, yeah, I, I can't be like that if i'm if, when i'm older bro oh that's a whole old as or horny nigga bro. i just I, 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 I can't be i hope i'm not like that nah, bro. bro i can't be like that there's bro. no way bro but like yeah bro they just have no like no control know, bro. no control bro and then they put people like diddy to bring the to bring bring, to, bring yeah. them around but it's like okay now right with the whole diddy thing so how long you think he's going to life? Nah, you don't think so. You think he's gonna Honestly, find a way out, bro? I think he's gonna find a way out, or not a way out, but a way. Well, not a way out, but a way to like get less. Get less, bro. Yeah. It's not. I don't think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be less than fifteen years. Like how long R. Kelly got? Twenty? Does he? I, I know. I know it's not. He's not gonna get out anytime soon. Like we're gonna be type old when he come out. So really? he might be like. I don't think it's like eight. It's like I know it's over ten, over oh, okay. ten. So he's in there for a minute. So like maybe. But I, I Diddy think, been tweaking. Yes, bro. R Kelly be tweaking, but like. But not Diddy, Diddy level. Tweaking, like R Kelly's because, here. Diddy's like. Diddy, Diddy, yeah, Diddy's like on some Epstein you know, level. On thing. some Epstein level and like murder and shit like that. Yeah, with the Tupac so like, thing. You seen yeah. that that guy, the guy that killed Tupac said that Diddy paid him. Yeah, uh, Keefe D. Mm-hmm. But like yeah, people think he, people think he lying just he so lying, he can get yeah, to, to say, but like. Why is there a reason for him to lie? I don't know. Exactly. 
Because Pete, know. like at the end of the day, right? That was when Biggie and Tupac was really beefing for real. Right. And Diddy did have the bread. Right. And at the end of the day, did they said like I, I was I, I was watching the story before the guy or somebody said that Diddy sent the dude the money like a million dollars like he paid him a million dollars to kill him, mm. and I guess the guy he sent it to the guy's friend that told the guy who killed uh, Tupac to do it, but his friend didn't freaking give that guy the check of the money, so the guy that killed Tupac didn't get paid. So that's how Diddy didn't get caught. Oh, the Anderson dude? Yeah, that's how Diddy didn't get caught because technically the guy didn't get the money. So mm. Diddy gave it to another person to hold on to it, mm. but the guy never gave him the bread. Mm. So now it's not connected to Diddy mm. at all. So now he can just seem like he's lying. Mm. But I don't know, bro. I, like, them Diddy parties, bro. Like, now, every time I think of Diddy, I just think of Mook now, bro. Like, it's just so bad. Like, but, all right, bro. $10 million. Diddy <laughs> invites you to go to the Diddy party, bro. No. You going? No. For ten million, no. for ten million, Mm-mm. bro, ten million dollars for ten million, bro. I don't give a fuck because listen, you're bro. not doing no Mookie stuff. You just, you just there. Yeah, but what's going on over there? Like, you I might gotta just have see, to see. I gotta see Mookie stuff. I gotta see Mookie stuff and 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 potentially see some crazy shit. Yes, like, for ten million, for ten band. If I nothing mean, is 10, done to me, I might million. do it. Huh? I might do it if nothing's done to me. But if I have to be a part of it, bro, you know Diddy is gonna rule for you, bro. <laughs> you know Diddy gonna nah, rule for you, and the nigga gonna be like, "Yo, come on, come on." You're not gonna want to do all that shit by himself. You no. Know? <laughs> what did the producer have to do with anything? I know, right? But nah, the, the, there's it, no it, way, bro. It, it, what do you mean? There's no way. How but like, think no of okay. That, nah, Diddy's gonna bring you. <laughs> okay, gonna bring like, you like, no, like, pa- pause him. all this. Pause all this. Do you like? Is there any curiosity of how of what you what has been going like? What went on, went on the freak party freak off? Do you have any curiosity for it? The thing the the thing I really I'm really curious about. Yeah, I am, but like the thing I I need Usher to say some shit, bro. <laughs> I need Usher to say just this. Why are you why or Usher's parents, bro? I don't think Usher's parents even know. When he was 14 years old being oh, the finger ch- came out. Chilling, chilling with, yeah, the fingers coming out, bro. <laughs> when he was 14 years old, chilling with Diddy, talk about um, sugar, I forgot, sugar camp, whatever. Yeah, the ca- old, they, old sugar baby camp? Uh, something, I forgot what it was called. It was bro. A- <laughs> but Usher was with Diddy for like about a week or something like at the crib. He said, some shit happened, bro. I want to know what happened. I want to know what happened, bro. <laughs> he needs to speak up. I know. But niggas be having NDAs on niggas, bro. Yeah, I know. NDAs be... Fl- niggas? Mm-hmm. NDAs be, be you feel me? Yeah. Controlling people's lives, They do, bro. bro. You can't speak about it. You can't speak about <laughs> shit, Yeah. Bro. So, okay. I wonder if those NDAs count when they're, if they're in prison. Do you think they, they avoid them because, like, he's in jail now? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Because, like... That's a good question. Because rappers make girls sign NDA so they don't say nothing. All they the time, All bro. the time, bro. All the time. So I'm like... Because I be wondering. I'm like, dang, that is that is kind of smart, though. Because, you know, girls be running their mouth. Bro, it is it is the smartest thing they could do. Mm-hmm. Bro, like, literally... Like, there's it, some people... Like, imagine, like, somebody... Like, yo, there are girls... Like, there are girls out here that think... Fucking this rapper is literally their life goal. Their life, like their <laughs> life goal, like they're th- the best thing they've ever done. They yeah. gonna speak about it, bro. Yeah, they it. gonna speak. About it. Shit, bro. I ain't gonna <laughs> hold you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna say nothing. Wait, bro. what are you about to nah, say? I ain't gonna say nah, nothing. wait, you gotta say it. Nah, nah I ain't gonna say nothing. Nah. What you about to say? Nah, bro. What? If it- nah, if I was in a relationship and I mess with like Tyler, bro, or whoever, bro. Yeah. I look, nigga, I'm telling not everybody, but I'm telling y'all. I'm quick as hell to tell y'all. I'll be like, yo, guess what happened, bro? Oh, okay. I got But like these girls are gonna go out of like actually they're gonna go, they're gonna just speak about it. they're gonna sh- like put themselves in a higher status, bro. Like, going, exactly. Just because they fuck this nigga that don't give a fuck about you. Mm-hmm. And they'll make it sometimes some of them make it like a joke. Like especially yeah. if it wasn't good, they'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." There's, yeah, right, there's a right. certain rapper whose beat was little, but you know, Selena, Selena Powell. Powell yeah, yeah. 
I don't think they were signing NDAs back they then. They was though. not, but back then is crazy. that was like that was like what that five was, years ago, five seven with when she was with G Herbal and them. Yeah, they probably wasn't wasn't like, thinking like that, thinking about like NDAs because she was just wow. Yeah, I know. Like back to back to back, what she went that? from DT Grizzly to to G Herbo to G Herbo to to everybody to Fat oh, Boy SSC, Fat maybe, Boy SSC, like, freaking uh uh Young Thug, Young Thug, uh, like Snoop Dogg, yeah, every bro, every single person, yeah, I know, every, like Offset, maybe, like ah, uh, it was everybody, Offset, <laughs> everybody, bro, it's bad, and they, a lot of them got freaking girlfriends and wives, bro, yeah, bro, but it's like. That don't fucking matter, bro. And remember that her other friend that was on with oh she tweaking too. She with the with too. the Phoenix Suns, yeah, bro. Yeah, oh my bro. god, that shit's crazy, bro. Like, she said eight. I was, and I'm like thinking, I, it made me go back and see like who was on that team. Mm-hmm. It was I remember it was DeAndre Ayton was on that team. Mikael Bridges was on that team. Oh, he's one of them. Yep. <laughs> I know Devin Mikhail. Booker was on that team. He might be, but I don't know. Now I heard some. St- now pause this. My my. <laughs> First look at me crazy. Pause, pause this, pause this. Exactly. Pause, pause this, pause this. My, my basketball coach, I will not say his name. Okay. Shout out my brother. We was working out. We was lifting, right? Okay. And he came up to me and he's like, yo, I read an article that D- Devin Booker was packing. I said, huh? But literally, okay. what you, look, pause, pause, pause that. Pause. pause that. Okay, pause this story. You guys are working out. I'm a nigga li- just comes out yes. of nowhere. And, and he it. said that. I was like, huh? He said Cousins was like a, you know them, you know them, them pulling, them big pulling spring bottles? That's what they <laughs> You know what's crazy? I think Tom said some shit about that. I think Tom said some shit about that. Yeah. Bro, like, he said the pulling spring like that, the big one. And yeah, the, he said the girth was like that too. All right, he was bro. saying. All right, bro, relax. <laughs> I don't want. I don't care about another nigga meat, bro. Nah, but when he told me that's that, nuts. That was OD. That's crazy. That was OD. I, I don't. I don't believe it, bro. <laughs> I if don't that's know. The, if that's the case, I don't believe it. <laughs> no one man should have all that power. Bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. That's, that's a lie. I, I I refuse to believe. Bro, there was eyewitness. Re, there was eyewitness girls, bro. Bro, bro. There, was, there was no eywitness. There's girls. There's an Who? article, bro. It was probably fake, bro. I don't know. It's probably one of them fake articles. I you hope know, so. Fork, fake articles be your out. I know, there. but I I hope so. But he literally walked out. I was mid lifting, bro. I'm like, why am I listening? To yeah, like what? Like why? Why out of nowhere did you just? I don't know. Bro. Like, your coach? Yeah. Yeah, he tweet. <laughs> that one was his nigga. He no, nah, yeah, he was he was like oh, he was like one. He was one of the young dudes. Young coach. The young okay, coaches. Okay, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Okay. My guy, I haven't seen him in mid though. But yeah, so but Devin Booker was there. I think Kelly Oubre was there. Oh yeah, he's one of them. Kelly Oubre was def one of them. He's definitely. I one think of them. Uh, maybe was a uh, no CP3 wasn't there yet. That was before CP3. Was Cameron Payne over there? I was thinking about Cameron Payne. I think that's where he got drafted. I think Cameron Payne was over there. So I don't know, bro. They was, eh. yo, that mm. was. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Them NDAs, bro. Them girls didn't sign none. No. Nah. But like, there's a bunch nah. of there's a lot of girls like they I, I, even a lot of the big streamers like bef- like you know when they be having a bunch of girls come in mm-hmm. like before they walk through the door they have them sign the stuff they'll yeah, tell yeah. Them the managers come in like which, sign which the which which you should which is respect yeah because, you should because like you gotta keep the stuff private you gotta keep the stuff private bro and not not only that I mean the one I don't know if you know who Superhead is bro uh, Karen Stephens Karen Stephens yeah uh, Steve uh, whatever her name is. Um, Let me see. She was with uh, Lil Wayne. She was one of that girl. She was that girl who was like on bad TV. Like, oh, when Lil Wayne calls, even if I'm in a relationship, I, your, my husband has to understand Lil Wayne is, oh, is oh. the love of my life this or girl? whatever. Yeah, her. Oh, yeah. She aired out mad niggas, bro. Really? Like Jay-Z, d- mad niggas about they meets, bro. <laughs> mad niggas. <laughs> on Vlad? Nah, um, she had like a whole list. Uh, check check list check list. It'd be like her and stuff and lists or whatever. Let me Something see like that. Nah, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, is it Mace th- long, but he has an yep. a whole personality too. Yep. Master P, nice and long and can't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> D, bro, she had him list, bro. Fifty Daddy. cent, medium long. Yep. Missy Elliott, her coochie has a bad odor. <laughs> Missy Elliott. That's OD. <laughs> Wait, who, who else? Kanye West, big, but he can't use. It. Wow, Little Wayne, nice and long. This is crazy. That's crazy. This is crazy. That's work. crazy. Fat Joe, small at first, but when erect, he's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> like is she, like these bitches got no shame. <laughs> oh my god, DMX, 
Oh my gosh. Long and can do it forever. That's OD. Ludacris, just perfect. All right, bro. We done. We done. You, you ain't got to keep going, bro. It's a long ass list. We going to be here forever, dude, gang. Nah, nah, this crazy work, it's bro. Like, there's females out here like that, bro. Oh my gosh. So, so she that, wasn't even famous. She just, the thought. Nah, she was like a, what was she? Okay, she was like a. Was she, I think she started off as a porn star. Really? Like a like a porn star, and then and then she, and then she went up. I don't know. She really got famous from that list. From nah, from like Lil Wayne. She said, um, she even, uh, she gave better head than even better than Corinne or something like. Oh, that. that's what yeah, she said. Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, like really put, like put her like kind of oh, put her on the map. Yeah, shit. I get like, you. I get you. I get like, you. You feel me? And she. She, I'm glad she just talked about everything, bro. She, oh she talked about um, she. I remember she, um, was really talking about like Bobby Brown. How Bobby Brown was. Oh my like, god. She was with every. There's females out here that really like be with everybody. Be with everybody and think that that determines their status. Like real shit. Mm-hmm. Like like. Bro, there's people they be, write lists like you know like you see this list but you know there's probably girls that got a, like that have the type list like this. Right, like there's probably a, a bunch, but like, oh, they're just yeah, not they probably got on their phone, like and shit like that. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I did this. Like, that's you feel me. It's crazy. She it's gave crazy. a scouting yeah. report on every on everybody that they. She probably fucked Missy Elliott is crazy. She, yeah, got like that's that, 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 that. First of all, why <laughs> a bad odor is wild. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Oh it's my crazy. gosh! When bro. I seen that list, I'm like, yo. Why? When did you see the list? Was this a minute ago? That was mad long. Ago. Oh, okay, okay. I forgot. That was a while ago. Because I know it, I looked on like it shows up on Reddit. It says like ten years ago. Damn. So that might have been like the first time it came out. Came out like ten years ago. Yeah, I ain't see it ten years. So ago. So that's though. like what 2014, 2015, yeah, which is like I ain't reasonable. See it 10 years ago. <laughs> that's I like it, that was like the prime of like all of those like rappers and stuff. Like not really right. prime, but like they was like relevant at that time. Now right. they're like old. Like they're not even rapping for right, 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 right. But right. that is sick. Oh my gosh, bro. It's crazy out here, bro. Niggas <sighs> gotta, niggas gotta be quick with the NDAs, bro. Uh huh. shit. But like, yeah, going back to Diddy, I know he got mad NDAs. For people. On people, they got mad like blackmail, whatever, like videos. It's sick, bro. Whatever. That's why. That's why he's been, you know, moving under the the radar, ra- under the radar for so long. Mm-hmm. Because people, I'm pretty sure shit. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Usher don't got no N- got NDAs and shit. Like, dang, a bro. lot of people that go to his crib or whatever the case may be, and they're artists too. They're rich people too. They're famous people too. Mm-hmm. They. They understand the, the 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 impact of NDAs. Yeah. So they're not they're not they're not stupid. They're not stupid. They're they're not qu- they're they're quick to sign that shit too. Yep. Like, they know what's going on, bro. Mm-hmm. LeBron probably got NDA on him. LeBron probably sees some shit, bro. Oh no, he definitely slick, did. He's not slick, bro. He definitely he did. Not slick, bro. He definitely walked into the wrong room, thought it was the bathroom, and he seen like a big like I, WWE I, ring. <laughs> I think I think like. <laughs> I think LeBron said that he did party. Like the only he people said, ain't that, nothing like a Diddy party. That's oh, he, he said, said that shit. Yeah, that's what he said. He that's did say that shit, right? That's that. LeBron, right? <laughs> he oh, said, ain't man, nothing LeBron, like a Diddy party. LeBron, bro, he you tweaking, bro? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Say, <laughs> LeBron, let me know what's going on, bro. Yeah, even ain't Drew. nothing like a Diddy party. He's crazy. That's bro. what I'm saying. Like, what? What? What, <laughs> what is Diddy's party? So, what is going on Diddy's party? That's that so you haven't great. seen in no other party. That's what I'm saying. It's, you, it's, it's always music, alcohol, and people. That's it. There's nothing better than there's that. There's nothing better. It, like, there's nothing better than that. So what has <laughs> Diddy implemented to his party to make it that much not, different? Like, that much different from another party that you've ever been? Nah, bro. Niggas got to talk about this shit, bro. <laughs> niggas got to talk about this shit. Bro. Because Diddy. Di- it's uh, weird, nah, bro. it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. really weird, bro. I don't know who been over there. Mm. But, hey. Oh, I, you think they're gonna? Leak? You think that somebody's ever gonna leak them videos? I, don't I think, hope so. I don't think. I don't think they can now because like yeah, it's because with it's, the feds. It's, it's with the feds. So that's yeah, that's yeah, gonna be hard probably, to leak. Yeah, it's probably but like, I have it's probably impossible. To but one, if there's a video that leak, I just want to see the setup. I don't even want to see no action. Where is this? Where is this taking place? Yeah, like 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 what room? Like the room and like what's going like. Uh, I just don't want. I just don't want to see some crazy <laughs> shit. Like, I just don't want to see no. Because he was talking shit. about his one on one freak offs. That's what he called them. Like, he what said is, that. that, that that's he? what they call the freak offs. Mm. Like it's one on one. Like what are you doing? I mean, it's probably females too. Yeah, it's probably females. I'm thinking like, 
like some like some male strip club type of vibe type of thing, like a strip club type right. of vibe with the ba- with the baby oil. Yeah. But then I'm picturing. I think, I think that's that's the case too. Yeah, honestly. I think so too. That's sick though. But like, <laughs> I'm still thinking about LeBron. Like LeBron, what are you talking? About? <laughs> what are you talking? About? <laughs> and he said that like a couple years like, ago. Yo, like, like what are you talking about? Like, have you seen? You know what it was? Because you know LeBron be joking. So I think LeBron was like like gelling a little bit. But because it, I think he said that like two, three years ago. He said, man, so it was like a Diddy party. Okay, so it just wasn't like. It wasn't like when wasn't like way. they found out about these free calls. Right. But like now, looking back at it, that just looked look crazy. crazy, right? Yeah. And like I remember uh, Diddy went on the uh, Breakfast Club with Charlemagne and all of them. And I think uh, Charlemagne pulled up a video of, who was it? I think it was DJ Khaled saying like, Oh, Diddy be wanting people on their knees. And then Charlamagne was like, what is this about, Diddy? He was like, yeah, I want people to be on their knees when they listen to the music and they, they feel it in their soul and they cry and I want them on their knees. Yeah, and then yeah. everybody's like, oh, I know what that means. Like, this video did not turn out well now. Yeah, it is, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's sick, bro. That's a crazy work, bro. Only, bro, bro. Only, only this, only America where this weird stuff happens, bro. Yeah, not, nowhere else, bro. Nowhere else, bro. You always be on some weird shit. I know. But, weird ass motherfuckers. But, now, since we were talking about current events, I got some other current events, but it's more of the on the down low that people don't really know about. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you heard about this. So, you know Mr. Beast is being like accused of like war crimes, bro? You heard about that? War crimes? Technically war crimes. Okay. Because it was a... So, you know how Mr. Beast does like videos and stuff? Right. So, there was a video he posted. It was called uh, Survive Seven Days in Solitary Confinement, Right. I don't know if you peeped that video. It was one, like, you know, the solitary confinement rooms. Yeah. It was like the all white rooms and yeah. he's staying, he's trying to survive in there for seven days. Yeah. So he made that into a video, but that was the second video he shot. Supposedly he shot one before that and it was called, uh, how long can you survive in solitary confinement for $300,000? And supposedly he like low key tortured the guy. Okay. Um, was he the white dude? Yes. With the glasses? Mm-hmm. That yeah, guy. I've, I've seen him, but, bro. Bro. And, it's crazy. You, you seen the video? Like, I didn't see the video. Um, him, the thing. Him, like interviewing. I didn't like, see the that, interview video. Like that shit. He was sick. Got, that shit, like, definitely, like, scarred him. Scarred him. Bro. Yeah, actually, I did see a little clip of like how he was talking. He was talking like a little like off. Yeah, no, nah, bro, bro was crying mm-hmm. like multiple times. Like that shit scarred him. But yeah, going, bro, he, he was one of um. He was like, and it's crazy because I'm like, yo. I, because I I did used to watch like Mr. Beast video, mm-hmm. and, like once in a while. It's not yeah, like yeah, I was yeah. just like All waiting the... for his video. Yeah, yeah. Shit. But like I would see that nigga, and I, and then one day like he would be gone. Mm-hmm. So like I'm like, damn, what the fuck happened? But like keep going. So he was an employee. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. he was an employee, and I guess he volunteered to like do the video. Yeah, yeah. And the reason why it's considered a war crime is because okay, you can have him in solitary confinement. You're watching him, this, that, and third. But you have to turn the lights off when it's time to go to yeah, sleep. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he that's... He kept it on. He kept it on. Yeah. And that starts... He can't go to sleep. So that's like sleep deprivation. Right, 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 right. And right. like, especially when, you, like when you're like when you in war and like you take prisoners of war and like prisoners in general, right. you have to turn the lights off or it's a form of torture. Because right. think about it. The lights is on all the time. He can't go to sleep. Right. And then he starts going crazy. And then I heard he told Mr. Beast like he's done. Like he don't want to do this no more. Yeah. After like a day or two. But Mr. Beast was like, nah, like we need at least a week's worth of footage. Right, right, right. And he's like, and like, I guess Mr. Beast has a policy like push through the nose. Right. Saying yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yeah. you have to like keep pushing through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he basically kept him in there for seven days. Yeah. And the guy was like, he he didn't even get the three hundred k. He got like a uh, hundred k. Yeah, and um, he he showed the he showed the um text messages mm-hmm. too, like how Mr. Beast is talking about some. Yeah, bro, they're dicks for not giving you all the money, this and the third. Yeah, bro, and he and, and and even when um, like he was done with all the things and people were coming up to him and shit like that. Mr. Beast didn't even like come up to him mm-hmm. and shit like that, like. Like talk like, to him about it. Like talk to him about it because mm-hmm. that nigga went through some shit. He, like they gave him like a pool, yeah, in, in the in that shit, and that shit started stinking. Like what the yeah. fuck is he gonna do? Like the pool and the popcorn machine and shit yeah. like that. Like it's like, bro, and um, they told him to go on a treadmill or some shit. Yeah, like, like that. work out, work out for so like. The- uh, for I guess this amount of money or some mm-hmm. shit like that I forgot so now he's even came. more tired and he can't even go to sleep exactly so that's what I'm saying like Mr. Beast bro like like the videos he does it's good because you know you're giving people money mm-hmm. but like you never know like what's happening what's on the other on? side yeah they're, they're probably really getting like 
you would think like, oh no, it's just doing this. You know, it's just fun entertainment. Yeah, like you you think them people are having fun in that video. You know exactly. what I'm saying? It because seems- it's like it seems like it's so like wholesome and like. They're just having fun. You mm-hmm. see them smiling. They show the good clips and this, that, and third. But them niggas are probably going through hell right yeah. now. Yeah. So, like, for, like, like $100,000, whatever the case may be, like, however bread he wants to give it. Mm-hmm. Like, them niggas probably went through hell. like For that $100,000. Yeah. And bro. plus, like, I always used to think that Mr. Beast did challenges with random people. I didn't. Yeah, they be part of his crew. crew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they be part of his crew. Like, some of them be, like, random people, but, like, Majority of them have been like part of his crew, like yeah, like the um, cause he he be having like interns and stuff. Yeah, interns and like employees, uh, employees. And stuff. Yeah, so like that's wild, bro. They're giving it to people that already work for you. Like, mm-hmm. what are what are you doing? Like, it's not even like. And there are some people who uh, who like came came out and like talk about it and talked about like he did a video with he did a video like. Who could stay? I, don't, I forgot. Like it was like a challenge from like age to one, from one. Oh, to one to hundred. Like right. who can like stay in stay the? In a, I think it was a box. Or yeah, some yeah, shit. yeah. Like, they, they were in. <clears throat> I think they talk about like how Mr. Beast like would cater to other people, design a third, mm-hmm. and like would try to start some shit. Yeah, you know, going, you know, try to, you know, start, instigate stuff, instigate shit. Yeah, you know? for entertainment. Yeah, for entertainment. Yeah, yeah. like it's just like. It's just crazy, bro. Because like, you got to think about it, right? It's like, like we make YouTube videos. So, like, we understand, like, what goes on. There's some videos that, like, there's some videos that we did that we never posted because some stuff happened. So, imagine the stuff that, he, the videos that he made that he never posted because he was either too wild or yeah. too crazy that he had to, like, delete them. Yeah. Especially, and, like, the thing with the, he's instigating stuff. Like, you got to think about it, like, in a sense of entertainment. If people are just standing around doing nothing, yeah, that's you, not going to be... Yeah, nobody's going to watch that. Nobody's going to watch Like, that, right. they did that on uh, Love Island. Right. They was telling that on Love Island, like, a lot. Like, I remember I would watch, like... <clears throat> I was trying to watch stuff, like, how they make, like... Uh, what's that called? Uh, uh, reality TV shows. And, like, the producers will tell them to do certain things and, right. like, allow them to do, like, oh, like, go and talk to this guy real quick mm-hmm. or go flirt with him. Mm-hmm. Like, just start some stuff up just so it's interesting. Mm-hmm. And, like... I guess that's what Mr. Beast is trying to do. Mm-hmm. But, like, in some ways, it just looks off, like, looks wrong mm-hmm. and stuff because it's, like, not morally right. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Like, um, yeah, seriously, that, that shit, like. Because, I mean, I even heard, like, remember when he did that freaking Squid Games? He did a Squid Games game with, like, random oh, people. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard that shit, like, went wrong or some shit yeah. like that. Like, it went wrong. Like, there's a. I don't know some some shit that happened. Like what happened? I forgot. You know? I think he. I think some people. I think it was the same thing that you were saying before. Like some people felt like they weren't getting as much attention as everybody else. Right. And like I think like wasn't it like a girl that won? Or may, or no, that might have been like the the real life uh, Hunger Games show. You know you know how there's like a they made a Hunger Games show on Netflix. Not Hunger Games. Uh, uh, Squid Game show on Netflix where like you can like apply like me yeah. and you could apply and go on yeah. the show. Yeah. I think that was like uh, there was a girl that was doing that. But like the one Mr. Beast, I think he was just like. Favoritism, favoritism. There was favoritism for one person to win. Yeah. Um. Was it the Hunger Games? There was one where um, he was one of his employees was part of it and shit like that. Oh, and he was like cheating type and stuff. Like he was like like the guy lost. Oh like, really? <laughs> like like it was like like there were uh, you know one of those things where like. You gotta go past through the lasers. Yeah, and yeah. The lasers can't touch you or mm-hmm. you lose this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this guy, a uh, random guy to yeah. us, yeah. But he, you know, he's an employee to Mr. Beast type shit. Ah, uh, so he he hit the laser plenty of times, and he stay still let and him slide. He, yeah, he let him slide. That's crazy. And then he bro. ended up winning, and then he ended up giving him like I forgot how much it was, but like a hundred k maybe. Really? Because yeah. think about it. The, like he probably has some employees that he'll work that work for him, and he'll be like, "All right, do this challenge for me." And we're going to say for a million dollars. But I'm not going to give you a million. I'm going to give you like 250 Right. So I could get to keep the rest. Right. Because at the end of the day, like a million, like there's no, like he's rich. But yeah. giving a million. You ain't giving out like that. A million like, dollars like that is crazy. All work. willy-nilly, bro. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> like know. that's wild, bro. Nah, you, nah. Like I always used to think like how do you get, like how does he have this much, bro? I know YouTube pays a lot of money. He has like all these other businesses now, like with the, the like. Feastables. He, Feastables. And like yeah, he made the freaking, uh. Remember, he made like Lunchables. It's called Lunchly. Him oh, and uh, uh, 
Logan Paul. Oh really? They made like their their own Lunchables. Oh, it's called yeah, it's called Lunchies. Him, Logan Paul, KSI, and they have Prime in it and like Feastables. But it's the same thing as Lunchables, but supposedly like better for you. Mm. But that's what I'm saying. Like he, ha- I, of course, he has all these businesses, but still, I don't think he got enough to give somebody a million dollars. That's wild. I mean, they say he's like on the on the road uh, to a billion. Yeah, road to a billion. So eh, I, I, I don't know whatever. I don't know. Like, let's see. I don't know. Maybe, but I just think Mr. B sometimes. I think he could be a little fishy, bro. But I ain't gonna lie. But I think that's that's like that with a Every, lot of like all entertainment. Yes, I think so too. Because, bro, at the end of the day, like they gotta find a way to make it interesting. Make yeah, make everything interesting, bro. Like yeah. unless you're doing the shit yourself, yeah. and like you're in the videos majority of the time, like. You got to find a way to make your shit like interesting when you're working with random people or you're working with your people aren't a- who aren't actors and stuff who are actors. Yeah, you feel me? Like true. you got to tell them what to do mm-hmm. and it might not be in their like morals. morals yep. That's true. And that's when money comes in. Yeah. So it's like using and you know, Mr. Beast has a lot of it mm-hmm. like to be honest, the nigga rich. So like and yeah. people <laughs> that are. That are in the videos don't have that type of money, yeah. so they're do they'll do shit like the nigga in solitary confinement, bro. He didn't have bread. He worked with Mr. Beast, but like he wasn't making he like wasn't Mr. Beast money. Made Mr. Beast money, mm-hmm. so he Mr. Beast threw money in his face. He jumped. He goes like, "Fuck it, yeah. like I, I need it." Exactly. You feel me? So it's That's like, true. so it's do you, like, so yeah. do you think he pays like all those people in his videos like bread, or you think they're there for like voluntary just for the video? Like his employees, not his employees, but like the people, like like, like the that, random people, like the random people. You think they get like something, like maybe like a thousand dollars for it, or you think they're just there for their free will and like volunteering and stuff for the video? Because I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I would hope that he pays them something, pays them something. Like even if they lose, like give them like five k or something. Right, like I would, I would, I would hope that he pays them something. Like that's especially that's, when. You know who's gonna win. Who's gonna win? Yeah, like you know that that person works for you. Yeah, and you and it's already predetermined that he's gonna win. That's crazy work, bro. So like, you can't be a dick. I mean, you can. You can, but, but you're you, a dickhead. Yeah, like, at the end of the day, you're a dickhead. That's so bad, not giving bro. Them, giving them bread, like giving them at least something. For, yeah. For, for making your video more entertaining than it should be. Mm-hmm. That is true. Like it's crazy. I know because. But some people are like that though. Some people, there's a, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of fucking people like that. Like, what, that just do it for the opportunity? That, no, nah, that, like, they'll just use the people oh. to make their, to make their video, you know, better and mm-hmm. not giving, and giving uh, the person no compensation, even though, even though the person has no knowledge of it being predetermined or mm-hmm. not. Yeah, you know? that's it's sad, crazy. bro. Only Mr. Beast, bro. But, I know. And, and, like, it's like, it's like, I don't know what to say. I don't know, but like, I guess you, you don't necessarily have to do it, but like, it, it, it I, I would say like it needs to be. I wouldn't say it needs to be done, but it need. Okay, it doesn't need to be done, but you should have an idea of like who's in the video at least, like because it's harder. That's what I'm saying. When Mr. Beast in the beginning, he wasn't using this many random people. Yeah, yeah. He he was he'll using use like, like the crew, like yeah, the crew, the people, yeah. like his friends, or he'll use like maybe like a random business owner. He'll help him out, give him bread. Right. He was doing things like that. Like I remember, he, I used to watch videos of him where like he used to draw like a big circle and he used to tell Whoever people to stay in circle, not stay in a circle, but like he'll tell somebody like, oh, if you whatever you put can fit in the circle, we'll buy mm. it for you. Mm. Which is not that's not that much bread, mm. and like that's something that a random person would do, and it's not like you need like they don't need to be out of character Mm -hmm. but like for things of like yeah i want you to survive in the middle of the jungle Mm. and it's like oh i want you to go against all these people way more outlandish yeah like you like way more outlandish stuff then that's when you need more things and i feel like now since like his group is a lot is like (laughs) broken up at this point Mm -hmm. like you got you got one one of them he's a trainee now one of them's gay (laughs) (laughs) no I'm saying, well, okay. I'm saying, like, okay. as in, like, they're okay. not really together anymore. Yeah, right. But I'm I not saying that's I, the reason no, why. Yeah, it's, it's like the training one is bad, though. Yeah. Well, well, like, not because he's a training. <laughs> no, 
Not because he's training, but because of him talking to kids. Yes, that, that's, that's bad. That's, that's, that's what, what I that, meant. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Don't cancel me, but it's not because it's not because he's a trainee. Yeah, because he's talking to kids. To with me. That's not right. Now him talking to kids is what's bad. Yes, like, okay, exactly. That's going. what I meant. And then I feel like they're not with. And then I f- and Chandler is more he's, he's he's a cool guy he's a cool one he's, and he's, he's being a, more he's with a, God and yeah. stuff and I feel like he don't want to be around that yeah yeah I I, I as as everyone does he I respect which is Chandler respect OD, you know yeah. what I'm saying and like and you I, see he hasn't been in the video yeah he like hasn't been that. there a minute yeah. so it's like now Ms. the Beast is like trying to figure out what videos to do so now he's doing these big groups and now you have to make it into a production where they have to fake certain things uh, yeah. to make it interesting because if it was just like I'm saying. Like when we make videos, it's us. So we are we are inter- We know how to entertain people. We know what to do. Right. We, like me, you, Tyrone, you, Jay Corey. We know what we we understand. Right. But some people who are not used to being having a camera in their face right. will not understand. Yeah. You, you know have, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's where you have to like explain coerce them. And coerce like, tell, them. Tell them tell them what to do. Exactly. It's like and especially if they're not really good at it, you have to try to you know manipulate certain things so you can get a reaction out of them. Right. 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 Even though it's not right, but like that's what's what they do. Especially yeah. they probably. Do, you know how many times they probably do that in the freaking um reality shows? Like that's oh, definitely yeah, most definitely. That's how they get they they should. That's mm-hmm. I think that's um what baddies do because oh yeah, they, I they think insta- that's what they instigate. Oh shit yeah, crazy. Like it's it's to the point where I'm like. What first of all, it's like to the point. Like, what just happened? Like, yeah. what are you guys even fighting about? Like, like I feel like they get, as women. Like, I feel like they, in their contracts they have incentives for fighting. Huh? I feel like they have incentives for fighting. Like, they get yeah. more bread for like a fight. I would think so too. Like, think about. I wouldn't like, be surprised. Like, you get like five k for a fight because it's like, what are you guys? Even what are you getting about? mad about? Like, They're what's like, so bad? Like, it's just so like. It's so crazy, bro. It makes it like like I feel ugh. like there'll be one minute, like the the, the last episode, they're friends. The next episode, they fight each other. I'm like, right, dang, like what bro. changed like, within a day or two? Happened? Like it's like, of course, y'all don't know each other. But something still. that happened in the social media, like out of nowhere, like hey, bro, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like bring it up into like it's so weird. Bro. Video production, bro, especially like once you get to a point, like I honestly because nowadays TV is not a thing. Like the the real stars is the streamers and the YouTubers, bro. Yeah, Twitch and YouTube yeah, is now yeah. TV. Yeah. So now they're taking what like TV producers do and like back like when we're watching TV, right? Like like MTV, all that stuff. We never had the op- we never had the platforms to look to see what's going on backstage. Mm. Now that we are we we can be like we're YouTubers. We could be on TikTok. We can be on Instagram. We can now see what goes on backstage because there's a platform for people to go out there and say what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's why nobody said nothing about Nickelodeon for all these years yeah. because they didn't have nothing. They have nowhere to tell it to. Right? They they have fa- like Facebook. Nobody be. I mean, people was on Facebook, but not like that. Like it's like YouTube maybe, but they, I feel like they probably had NDAs though. Ooh. Like the oh, to get the kids? definitely yeah, yeah. their their parents too like so they probably did have NDAs but like well, uh, yeah yeah but I just think it's like now since the internet has like expanded like there's more opportunities for like things of like bad things that's happening behind the scenes to come out mm-hmm. that's why you see it a lot more especially like I was like, you look at Mr. Beast you think he a nice guy right like he don't look like he curse he don't look like he do nothing wrong bro I, yeah that, but that's that's. I beat them motherfuckers. He beat them once, bro. I beat them once. He beat them old white people. Like, when he older, he might get weird, bro. I beat them once, bro. I don't know, bro. I'm not trying to, like... I'm not trying to... (laughs) I'm not trying to bash the nigga and shit like that, but, like... We we look at patterns, bro. Yeah, look at patterns, bro. Like, (laughs) nigga, I guess he... You see him doing... The wild stuff. Doing... Not even the wild stuff. You see him doing, like... Uh... You know, doing shit in Africa. Building wells and shit. Mm -hmm. Curing people blindness and shit. I don't but, know how he did that. Yeah, well, I guess I guess I don't know if they were like fully blind. blind. Yeah, they probably just partially they, blind. Yeah, partially blind. But it's still cool. Yeah. But like, but then that, but behind closed doors, nigga, just a, a demon, bro. Yeah, he might be. An like, asshole, I think bro. those those shits be like publicity, like oh publicity stunts, like yeah, PR stunts. Yeah, PRs those like uh, oh yeah, let's do this. Yeah, make them make you know. Show him you're a good guy. You feel me? Like, yeah. you, you just got to have that reputation. That's so bro. true. You know what I think nowadays, bro? Especially since I've seen the thing with Drewski and Ruby Rose was a whole PR Oh, stunt. my gosh. That shit, nothing be genuine anymore, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, Literally, bro. Nothing be. Yo, it's crazy. Because when I see that, I'm like, yo. First of all, 
I never, I never believed it. It was real. Anyway. But I always thought there, there, there was a little sliver of my end hope. Like, oh, look at you! Like, he's funny. He knows that. Look, there's two, right. two out of three things. He's funny. He knows how to talk to girls. Maybe that worked. Uh, right. But I don't know. I always I, thought if Kodak could get women, anybody could get women. Nah. Really? Nah. Kodak look crazy. Kodak. Kodak, first of all, Kodak, my dog, bro. He, he cool, that, dude, but he, you can't Kodak, lie. Kodak is cool, bro. He cool, but he do I look think, crazy. I think, I think, no, he don't look crazy now. He's real, he's okay, real yeah. sober now. Like, yeah, he cool nigga, now. Nigga, but, used to be looking, used to be, you feel me? You used to be look, tweaking, but Kodak, my dog, bro. Don't do that, bro. <laughs> Kodak, don't do my boy Kodak like that, bro. So he, he, you saying he not ugly? I don't, I don't, as a man, bro, okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, about to, I'm not about to judge the okay. nigga look, okay. but, the, but you got to understand, I'm not saying, no, okay, okay, I'm not saying that Drewski is ugly, has no chance oh, with, with no, oh, okay. per, no person that, like, nobody that looks like Ruby Rose, I'm not saying that, yeah, Drewski's a cool dude, like, yeah. what the fuck, like, he's big, that, that, that has nothing to do with me, yeah, like, yeah I know what you mean, fuck? I know what you mean, but, like, I'm just saying it never looked genuine in the first place. Yeah. It really never did. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's crazy though. So what do you think was so what do you think was going on, bro? Or what happened? Was it Was it on the whole time? It does. Oh, you wanna just press it real quick? There's water inside the fucking charging hole, bro. <laughs> it's the recording? Like, is it recording right now? Yeah, I guess we should keep going. Should we check? Should, should you check? Go ahead. Should, all, right, all right, stop it real quick. People, wait, hold on. People will be right back. We got a commercial break before we start talking about more things. I got to go check cameras. Enjoy this commercial. Prize Picks is probably one of the most fun and exciting sports fantasy apps on the market right now. I was able to win 10 times the amount of money that I put in. Prize Picks is very simple to use. All I got to do was find my players, make my picks, submit my entries, less than 60 seconds, and I'm good to go. Whether you're a tryhard or you're just a person that loves watching sports, you can turn $1,000 into $10,000 with a click of a button. And as of July 31st, Prize Picks is now offering a new promotion for new users on the app. If you use our code NOREGULARS at sign up and you place $5 in for any picks or entries that you want, you will get $50 deposited into your account immediately. Use code NOREGULARS, that's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S, at sign up and place $5 in for your first entry and you will get $50 back instantly, people. That's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S at sign up. Code no regulars. Shout out to Prize Picks. Let's get back to the podcast, baby. Gangsta. Um, we're back. Sorry, people. We had some technical difficulties again. But next next podcast, we won't have no technical difficulties. There's a surprise coming. You know what I'm saying? Hope you enjoyed the commercial. But nah, with the whole Drewski thing, bro, when I was when I seen that. Now I'd be thinking like, dang, what is real nowadays, bro? No, nothing. Because it's a, the, it's a P. It's every a lot of shit be like PR stunts, like it be uh, like the Ice Spice and Central C thing. That man lost his girlfriend for that, bro. I'm like, yo, crazy. you bugging? Are you it's c- crazy? That and is, the nigga made songs about that girl. Yes, like, literally. Nuts. <laughs> and she was she was I, cool. I, I think they're back together. You think so? Yeah. Because <laughs> like, like, cause like it's like. I think they're back together. You think so? It's like I don't think they did nothing crazy. I, they like didn't do Central nothing C. at all. Yeah, like Central C. Like I don't think like, Ice Spice got a boyfriend. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's wild. Like how much money? But okay, how much money you think Drewski paid Ruby Rose? Like that's wild. Paying somebody to be a fake girlfriend. But are you making like are you making bread off of that? You know that's what I I, I really thought that Drewski thing was weird because it's like what did you gain? What did he gain from that? That's what I'm saying. From from paying Ruby Rose because Central Rose. C made a song with Ice Spice, right? So it made so, it seem so like it made it seem like they were, you know, you know together, together, whatever. Or something. But like, which I understand that. Yeah. But but that is pretty far. Like that is pretty uh, like, stretch stretch. Yeah. Rough to to promote a song. Yeah. But nonetheless, like, what did Drewski like? He he he. He gained some like attention. Yeah, but he always but had the same intention. Like, I didn't look at him differently. Yeah, I didn't look at him differently now that he's with Ruby Rose. Yeah. So it was so weird why he would pay <laughs> to be like, yeah, let's act like we're together. It's so weird. Maybe he was he was um trying to do it. Maybe he was do Oh yeah, he did some skits. 
Oh, skits with her? Yes, but skits. he always did skits with her though. Yeah. So that's why I don't but know. But like I guess I guess now that they're together. It looks it looks, looks better. I don't know. It's I weird. I really don't know. It was, it was, I don't even think I seen weird. them kiss. Did they kiss? Cause nah. she said that she ain't do nothing with that dude. Bro. Which of course is like Bro. You think so? I don't think I don't know. No, I don't think they did. Yeah, I don't think they did. I don't think they did. did. Like yeah. it was just like I feel like they were cool, genuine friends and the nigga was I don't know. Like, That's funny, it's, it's bro. Weird. Like but Cause I mean, post she, the, she out there and aired that shit out. Like, oh yeah, she made it. She made it sure. Like, nah, he paid me bread. Right. Like, that's probably part of it too. Like, just so because then when Drew, when that came out, Drewski posted the love don't cost a thing thing a uh, picture. Did he? Yeah, he posted. He put like you know you know. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah with the yeah, picture, yeah, yeah. picture of him. Picture of him, <laughs> him and uh, 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 what's her name? Christina uh, Milian. Yeah, bro, that was funny. That's right. bad. <laughs> that's so I funny. I love that movie, bro. Nah, that was a good movie, bro. Great movie. That was a good movie. Great bro. movie. Uh, <laughs> Might want to watch it again. <laughs> that was a good. Those are good I'm, they never make. They don't make movies like that no more, bro. Nah, bro. It's, Not I guess. I guess maybe movies like that is like corny, but like, I don't know. I don't think it's corny in my eyes. It's, I don't think it's, so. It's, it's a good it's a movie. Great, it's a great, like, great feel movie. Like, it's it's cool. Like, it's good. It's a good movie to watch when you're growing up. Right. It's a great right, movie to watch. Right. When you're right. Up. And like, it I, teach I, you a lot of life lessons, bro. It, it does. I mean, shit. What did it teach you? It don't teach you shit. It teach you to be yourself. What did Nick Cannon? What did Nick Cannon teach you? It taught you to be yourself. Yeah. You don't gotta be you, a you different don't person to get the girl, right? Yeah, you don't gotta be no different to get That's the girl. It? Yes, there's hella movies like that. Like what? Damn, <laughs> hey, you put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> no, there probably is a bunch, yeah. but I mean, like, because you know, yo, once you once you hit like 12, 13... You always you. That's when you start to learn trying to find yourself in like right. not in the world, but like just find yourself in general. So. Once you start, that's when you start liking girls also. Right, 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 right. So you always think like, oh, the guys that got all the girls, they're always right, like this, cool, this, that, yeah, third. Yeah, cool, yeah. But like yeah. at the end of the day, it's really not like that. It's just yourself. It's just yourself. That's all she ever wanted. When he started <laughs> acting weird, coming around, doing the weird dance moves with the headband and the whole tracksuit, talking about he got yeah, bread. She didn't like mind. that. Wait, but did, wasn't that um, what brought her attention? No, that's what she made him do she that. She made him do so that. So he don't look like a nerd. Right. So it was her. Oh, it was her fault, though. Oh, yeah. But he started tweaking. Though. He started tweaking. He started, edging, he started tweaking. Yeah, he started tweaking. <laughs> because he, started tweaking. he realized, like, oh, now he look cool. Right. And now he's like, oh, now I'm a cool guy. I don't really need you. Yo, I'm about to have to watch the movie. Yo, it was a good movie. It was a good movie. Like, it was a good movie. That was a great movie, bro. Good movie. Good movie. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like all kids, all my young fellas, bro, if you like 12, 13, bro, Go watch Love Don't Cost a Thing, bro. You're going to teach you a lot about life, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot about how to find a girl, bro. You don't need to be different. Or you, you you be different in different ways, but you don't have to act outside your character to get people to like you. You know what I mean? So yeah, Best Nick, Nick, Nick Cannon movie? Yeah. Oh, was it the best Nick Cannon movie? In your eye. Uh, 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 oh, was that the best Nick Cannon movie? This is that a drum line. Yeah. I mean, there was, how many movies was Nick Cannon in for real? There was a lot, but like I can't no, think. No, there of, was a lot, but I can't think of. Let like, me I, actually let me look that up. That's a good question. Was that the best Nick Cannon? I'm about to look up Nick Cannon movies and see. Uh, Loki, let's rate these uh, Nick Cannon movies. I want to see. I know Nick Cannon was in uh, Roll Bounds, but but it was it was oh yeah he nah. was in the lead. Yeah, he was in the lead of most of them because he got uh, underclassmen. Nah, I, I never watched that Roll Bounds. He wasn't in the lead. Yeah, these movies weren't really. He was in Garfield. The heck. Nah. He was in Monster House? Oh, I guess he was one of them. Which one was he? I have no idea. Was he? He, he had he to have been the black. He had to have been a black guy, like by the black cop. Probably. That's what I'm thinking about. I can't remember. There's what he no like. way he was one of the white Nah, guys. that's crazy. Impossible. <laughs> that's crazy. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> that's so crazy. Impossible. Yeah, he had to be the cop. But, okay, so now it's it's be- so it's between Love Don't Cause a Thing and Drumline. I'm taking love don't cost. I'm thing. taking love don't cost the thing. I ain't gonna lie because drumline was cool. Okay, I was drumline's cool, but love don't cost the thing. I think was a lot better. Drumline would always be a classic though. Right, right. right. All right, I was arguing with this uh, with Corey last episode. What's better, drumline or uh, stomp the yard? Oh my gosh, I, I, I said stomp the yard. You bro. said stomp the yard. Thank you, Corey. I said is, stomp the yard, bro. I, I, when I seen that ranking or whatever, whatever y'all did, yeah, um, yeah, stomp the, the yard. Bro, I'm like, yo, drumline over Stomp the Yard is crazy. It's crazy work. I'm like, huh? Like, drumline was cool. It was a that cool movie. Cool, but Stomp the Yard made me want to, like, dance. dance. I like, wanted to crunk I for wanted, real. Like, at that time, like, you could see it now and it might look corny. Yeah, but at the time, but I was at the time, I was like, yo, 
Mm. I need to learn how to dance. Like, yeah, what? bro. Like, no. Stop like, the Yard was fire, bro. Stop the Yard was too... Like, and I feel like Corey was saying because freaking Chris Brown died in the beginning. Bro, Chris Brown... The only, ra- the only way Chris Brown would have stayed in that movie is if he was the lead. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. He had to have been the lead. Because yeah, because... It's, yeah, it's, it was Chris Brown. If he was a secondary... Ca- I'm not going to lie. If he was the lead, though, he'd probably go stupid. Oh, Chris Brown would have killed everybody. Oh, my God. It there would even be a fucking competition. No. <laughs> even the first beginning, that nigga was doing, like... He was doing some he wild doing stuff. Some wild shit. I'm the like, yep, yep, with the hat. I'm like, oh, this nigga Chris Brown is tweaking. <laughs> and they had to kill my boy. I know, bro. And bro, Stomp the Yard. That was what the one with Making Good in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I promise you, Making Good was the most beautiful woman I've ever seen at that time, bro. <laughs> I promise you, bro. Better than Christine Milian, bro? Christine Milian is up there, bro. But Making Good, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. I Better respect that. I respect that. <laughs> What? Nah, you. I'm. Nah, this thing can set me up. What I do? I didn't say that shit. Well, I didn't know. What oh, she got the phone. Don't do it, bro. Hey, <laughs> Don't yo. do that, bro. That's crazy. Nah, but. Oh, uh, uh, but, but seriously, bro. Maybe good at that, but yeah. Yeah, man. I remember when, when nigga was like, "Yo, when Corey nigga, was trying to say, oh, it's a bad movie because the main character took Megan Good from that dude.'" The dude didn't even want her for real. Bro, he was treating her wrong. And he was low-key cheating on her. Yeah, he was definitely cheating on her. Come on, bro. But when they they had that scene, (laughs) they had that scene, and Maxwell's uh, woman's work was in the background. Yeah. <laughs> man, I was mad as hell, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, wait, bro. wait, was that was that the scene when they were in the frat house? I think they were after the she did the little dance thing, like, was it? cause she was in a sorority, I think. I thought that, yeah, it was either that or there was in a, a like a little, yeah, maybe that, homecoming. I don't. No, remember. no, I think it, it was. I think it was that. It one. had to be a frat house. It had to be like it had to be yeah. She was because in the okay, because her dad was the dean, right? Right, right. And her dad didn't like him, right? Because. His dad took yeah. his girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. bro. That, that's, a, that's a good movie. That's a bro. good movie. I'm like, dang, his dad took his, his girl, girl yep. and that's why he don't like his. Yeah. That's wild. That's crazy. As that's fuck. crazy. How, how do you hold a grudge? That far, I know, that far, bro. Man. I like, know. He held a grudge to generation. Wait, <laughs> yeah. Wasn't his mom? His dad's mom was. Wasn't his mom the girl that the dad took? Yes. Yeah, that, his was, mom, his, that was the yeah, mom. Right? That was the mom. The mom was dating the dean. Yeah. And, and, the, dad he, and took, the dad took the girl. And he was the dad, dad was to mom. And yes. Now, now, like, that's his mom. And shit yes, like that, right? bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's wild work. It's crazy work. <laughs> that's they, wild they work. grudges for generations. Generations, bro. bro. He's like, nah, <laughs> you can't <laughs> date my daughter. Right. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> and, like, I think his dad was, like, the same thing he was. His dad was cutting grass. Was he? Yeah, because I remember the mom was like, yeah, I used to date the dean, but, like, I didn't want him for his money. Because that's the same thing the, the dean wanted the... Uh, Megan Good to date the guy because he was gonna be like a lawyer yeah, or something. Bread, yeah. He's gonna get bread, but she's like, I don't want him for his money. Right? You tell me that's that better than Drumline? That's just beautiful. Like Drumline, all he was doing, he was he was just mad smart. He can read lyrics without or looking at the lyrics. All right, and then he found a girl. Like he didn't he didn't really have to work. The girl already yeah. liked him. Yeah. And then he got kicked off the team because I'm, what? I'm gonna be honest. Like I don't I don't like even remember Drumline. That's crazy, what I'm saying. Crazy. You know I I remember Stop the Yard. Crazy. Yeah. I don't remember that Drumline ending from, scene when they had the wolf thing yep. up. That was hard. Yeah. But come on, Stop the Yard is hard, bro. Yo. Niggas niggas was in in a in a comments talk about some talk about some. Yeah, yeah, drumline. Nah, yeah, drumline is better. Nah, no, drumline bro. is wild. Drumline, no. yeah, not drumline. Yard is like that. Bro. Not drumline, bro. Like not that. drumline. Drumline cool though. Don't get me wrong. No, drumline, drumline is cool. We already acknowledge that drumline. Yeah, drumline is, is a pretty cool. Good classic, like. But when it comes to freaking um, what's it called? Stomp uh, the Nah, bro. Do you, when was the first time you watched Drumline? I feel like we watched that in like fifth grade. Oh, bro, we wa- we definitely watched it in one of the in uh, class. class, like music class. Definitely watched it in class. Dang, shout out that teacher. That's a really educated good, teacher right a, there. That's yeah, a good that's movie a good to watch, movie bro. To watch. Yeah, I didn't want to be in a band, but yeah, I didn't want. I, it was you know, cool. You know, I was I was in band for bro. I, I played the violin. <laughs> He was in the I played the violin. Yeah, I was in the orchestra. I played the violin from fifth grade to from probably fourth to fifth. Maybe. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I I played the trumpet from third to fifth grade. But I got no, no. You're a loser. Wait, why? <laughs> wait, 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 what? It's the violin like, was for the girls. No, but whoa, yes, whoa, yes, whoa, yes. whoa, 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 yes. whoa. The violin was for the girls. Whoa, bro. whoa, whoa. Relax. It wasn't. No, don't, don't dis- not. Nah, violin is a bitch. It's, 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 it's for the girls, for real. But at that time, bro, yo, yo, mind you. <laughs> I'm trying to say. Yo, no, the trumpet's hard. The trumpet's yeah, tough. You know how to, 
if you know how to play it. Yeah. I wanted to play the. I wanted, yo, mind you, bro. Mind <laughs> you. <laughs> yo. Yo. I was good at the violin, but yeah. like, I'd say a couple, like, the first few things, you feel me? The first yeah. a couple notes. Like if, I, if, if I would give you a violin right now, would you know how to play it? Hell no. Really? That's, no? That, that's mad long ago. Is I, that hard to like remember? Yeah. So oh. like, I, I, I wouldn't know how to play something. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, you I know, don't like, not notes re- for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, because I remember from the trumpet, I remember like, because you know, there's like three buttons. Right. This is D. Okay. And then this is E. And I think this is A, B. See, I think it was something like that. Yeah, I don't remember the notes. I don't remember that, but I can't read. I can't read the notes. Yeah, I can't re- read that shit. But I was cool. I was yeah, cool yeah. for the first few. You feel me, bro? <laughs> when it was time for, when it was time for um the concert, the concert. Oh, you, f- my nigga. <laughs> when I tell you, I I didn't I didn't even put the damn thing on the thing. <laughs> Faking. He was faking. He, no way. Cause you I for, swear to God, cause I was you faking. forgot, bro. It's like, bro, that shit started getting. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. bro. I was faking. I was like, <laughs> niggas is clapping. I'm like, <laughs> I did not do a bro, damn note, bro. Cause I'm not gonna lie, bro. I wanted to play the drums. Yeah, but, me too. But like, they be like, they had this. They said there was like the only people that play the drums is the ones that actually took drumming lessons like outside mm-hmm. of school mm-hmm. and i remember right when we was in it was um in livingston it was it was uh tj emmett no you know you know drummers. And the drummers for yeah, real the niggas that do tj that emmett uh, uh what was his name was lj remember remember john no i don't think jonathan was in my school yet but it, i just remember them too they were the one playing the drums and i remember we used to be playing and then it would be a drum like thing solo, and we used to turn around and watch them. Yeah. And then we'll forget, like, oh shoot, we about to come back up right now. <laughs> so then the teacher be like clapping in the background, like, yo, like pay attention. Word. And then we like, oh, and then I lose my my track. I'm like, oh, oh yeah. damn, cause it's over. <laughs> like I don't like I'm not gonna lie, I got kicked out of the out of band in fifth grade. Oh what? Because okay, I went to the first practice, and then I remember they would always have practice after school, like every like like twice a week, and I didn't go. Because like I was like I didn't I don't want to play like that no more mm. and I was like I wanted to go home so I never went <laughs> so then I came I came back out on like a random like April afternoon yeah. it was I, I, the the last time they seen was September bro I come back in April and they I I never touched my my trumpet I get my trumpet and yo that thing was rusted oh, the the guy had to take my trumpet he's like yo what is this I'm not gonna lie thinking about it now they were pretty disrespectful when we were kids bro mm. cause they was like are you like like they used to make fun of me like this thing mad dirty like you just you was like I don't know I don't think he called me stupid but mm. I think he said something in that realm mm. and I felt bad I'm like dang and like he took it took him like a week to clean it he's like yo you might, you don't even need to be here bro like you can you don't have to be on band oh, damn. so like, they kicked me out bro damn. but I like cause I know you had to play an instrument and then you had to be in a show choir. Yeah. Yeah, I know you had to be a show choir. What, what, what were you? I was a soprano game. Was, I didn't get, like, was that, like, your voice level? I yeah. don't remember what I was in. It was, like, a soprano. It was, like, a high. Was the high pitch ones? high pitch shit. I don't, and, I don't uh, know. I forgot. Like, oct. I forgot. Oh, I know. Toner. Is yeah, like yeah, a, the, the like deeper, deeper voice. voice. I don't remember, but I just remember the songs we sung. I remember we sung Proud to be an American. I remember those days, bro. Remember Mr. Graff? It's like Mr. Graf. I that name sounds so familiar. You know Mr. Graf. I don't remember. I think his he's in jail for yet. being a, a pedo. I ain't gonna lie. Oh wow. Uh, you remember the social studies teacher? The crazy one. He used to be in freaky he, w- he was seventh grade social studies. In the military? Yes, that one. Oh yes. Shit. Him, bro. Remember he used got, to be crazy? Yeah. He used to that nigga used to have his eyes wide open. Yo, he's all the time. And then he used to be spitting. Mm. Oh my god. Like and then when he's like he got drunk on me, he'd be like like mid sentence. Like yeah, that nigga had PTSD, no, bro, but no, he didn't even go to war because he wasn't mentally sane, bro. Oh, then he was just crazy, bro. Cause I remember, uh, did you have Mr. Graf? In, no, hell no. I had him in seventh grade. I remember we would always have to do like a uh, project, but we make posters and we have to present to the class. And I remember he used to always be in the back, not like paying attention. He'll be drawing stuff and he'll be drawing like mountains and trees. And I'm like, is this guy crazy? Yeah. Like I remember he was just be in the back, just drawing, and then once over, he'd be like. Like he'll look up real quick and just start clapping. Oh, wow. I'm like, 
nah, what's good with this guy? He's on some shit. And he used to scare me. I ain't gonna lie, he used to be really creepy. Nah, yeah, I never really like talked to the nigga because like every time I heard about him was bad shit. Bro. Yeah, he was just he was so a little like, loco, nah, bro. I'm cool. He was a little. He I'm wasn't stay away from. Bro. He wasn't there up top, bro. And I remember. Yeah. I remember. I, I was in the uh, proud to be American Day parade, bro. Oh really? Yeah. Because he was like, if you join in seventh in seventh grade, he was like, if you join, like if you're in the program, I'll give you like extra, extra credit. credit. Oh, bro, they had me look like a freaking pilgrim, bro, on that float, bro. <laughs> you was a pilgrim? Yeah, I was a freaking pilgrim <laughs> with a musket, bro. That was crazy work, bro. I felt so embarrassed. They had this. It was like me. It was me. Jerome was in it. Nah, yeah, Jerome. Jerome was there. I remember it was me, Jerome. There was somebody else. I forgot who else it was, but I remember. <laughs> Oh, I felt so embarrassed, Hell bro. Nah, I looked like a freaking like idiot, pilgrims, bro. Cause... Yeah, I was like pilgrims and or like a them little settlers, like the colonists, bro. <laughs> I had the little musket in my hand, oh, yeah, and they man. they had us drive through Stuyvesant with the, on the, on the float, and we we met at the you know you know where the library is, mm. you know where the park is, mm-hmm. you know across the street there's the the fire department, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that little lodge. Yeah, 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 I know we was over there. That's where we met at. Oh, that's where you was at. Yeah, we was over there. I'm like, nah, yeah, that's that was a, near me, bro. Yeah, that was crazy, that's bro. Funny shit. I was uh, I was so mad, bro. But hey, I got extra credit for it. But now nah, he wasn't he wasn't right in the head, bro. Nah, I, I don't know. think he was mentally I know. right. He was crazy. But now nah, and I remember remember Mr. Delano, bro. That's, yeah, I know that nigga got that got cut. He got, got cooked. Took, got cooked. Bro. Think, look at that now. Liking women. Yeah, we. I not, mean, that's a women, <laughs> but like a kid. Like a kid. Like we at at the time we didn't know what that was. What like Beatles? we didn't know. What, I didn't. I didn't know what that was. I just. I, I, I just but thought I, he just got fired. I don't think I don't think I knew what Peter was neither. Bro. And now looking back like, at it now, I'm like, that's sick work. Because I remember he used to he was hug. a computer guy, right? No, he no, that was the math math the math dude. Math. He was a math I had teacher. Him. You did? Yeah, I had Mister Delano. He was a cool dude though. He was a cool dude as a math teacher. Word, like he was like you know a cool like Italian looking dude. Yeah, like, he he had a tan type shit. Yeah, and he was he was cool. He was cool. But like he as was, a math teacher, he but was, I didn't know he was. There was another teacher that our computer teacher that uh, in fifth grade that got cooked. Oh, yeah, that's the one that said I'm going to be an idiot when I grow up. Yeah, bro. <laughs> he said. He was right. <laughs> I was like, no. Because no. he said, said, hey, man, because, you know, you know, remember we used to do the typing test? Yeah, the typing shit was. It was hard, bro. It I was, was hard. You know, you had to do it without looking. Now you yeah, do it. Yeah, now I can do it now. Shit, but, like, back then, I was struggling with that thing. I, I remember too. he used to put the, the little mat on top. Yeah, the mat. Yep. Yeah, he's like, Darius, if you don't know how to type without looking, this is going to be you. Like, this piece of paper is you. And he threw that piece of paper in the trash can. Wow. That's crazy to say it to a, a 10-year-old kid, bro. I don't think. That, that's bad. That's bad. They I'm like, called you trash. <laughs> Literally. They didn't like, say you were an idiot. You're trash. Like a trash kid. I'm gar- I'm never going to be nothing in my life. But now look at you, bro. You're in jail. Actually, yeah. I don't think he's in jail. jail? Yeah, he's probably, probably on a sex offender list. He's probably out there. He's probably on a sex offender list, I, 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 used to, I used to see some shit, bro. I know. You used to peep some things. Some I used weird to peep things. some shit. But I'm like... In my little, you know, I'm in a my kid. young mind, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a kid, but I'm like, this, this ain't right. <laughs> this don't like, look right. Like I know, like, like I know, I used to think like this ain't right, like because I know some girl that you know he used to like really be fond of. Yeah. I know, just, I know. I'm not gonna air her out. Yeah, no, no. Like, but it's know. just back then when we were kids, like you don't really notice. Like, nah, you just like you're. You're, you're a kid. in school. Yeah, you're in school. You just nothing thinking. can go wrong in school. Exactly. Yeah. And you're you're in you're you're a kid. Like exactly. You don't, you don't really know that. You don't think of none of that. You don't know what's going on. But then once you get to like once you get to like 16, 15, 17, that now you start. Shit start that's when the gym hurt. teachers, bro. Bro, you just start hearing stories. But I ain't gonna get too much in depth of that, bro. But oh, another story I heard. Uh, that's not on the news, but it's like some low key dark stuff. You know, uh, Squid Games was based on like a true story. Like the, but remember I told you before, but there could be some weird stuff that goes on behind closed doors that we don't know about. Was it about that webcam guy? Nah, not that one. That was weird. That was bad. I know about that one. That was bad. But nah, it wasn't that. It was basically like in North Korea, there was a, so basically in the, in the eighties, there was a welfare company that was being promoted by the government because, uh, I think South Korea was like really poor at the time there was mad homeless people Mm -hmm. so they promoted this one welfare company it was called um uh what was it called i I think it was called like the brothers or something that it was some wealth welfare company and what they would do is they'll give people like you know um food shelter like homeless shelters and then they'll give some of them paid jobs but what they were really doing like over the over the years like in the 80s people were going missing Mm -hmm. so i remember there was a story of like a kid he was like eight years when he was eight years old he went to the city with his dad and his dad left him like by these police officers so he can go into the store real quick to go pick something up. And the cops was like, they 
put them in like a, a cop van, like you know, the little big cop vans. Yeah. And there was a bunch of other kids and adults in that van, and they took them to like these little concentration camps. And what they do is they will shave them, they'll shave their heads, and they'll like give them a number, and they'll make them go into like they'll treat them like soldiers. Like they'll make them do like work. They'll make them build like construction sites. They'll make them build like uh farms they'll make them do farm work and like they'll have to like follow like what they're doing these guys are like eight-year-old kids 14-year-old kids like some are like 20-year-old adults where was um what the police squid game korea it was korea it was, korea, right? it south, was korea? South, korea, yeah. south korea yeah so the whole time they're being freaking like manipulated and stuff like they're being put in like slave camps mm. and like if you go out of line they'll beat you or they'll put you in like they'll make you do these games they call right. them games right. which is like torture things were and they'll like have other people watch it and then it got so bad to a point where like a lot of people like escape and that's how they found out about it and that's why they had to shut down things like the government tried to like sweep it under the rug but then it came out i think it was like 30 people like escape like the inmates escape but like that's why in north korea you can't watch um squid games like it's banned oh, in north really? korea it's the band. yeah you didn't hear about that guy that freaking got i mean north korea bans everything yeah that's what so i'm saying it's like i didn't really yeah think about yeah that, you feel me? but it's like because i think it was big i think because squid games was made in south korea but yeah. i think somebody in north korea got like a tape of squid games and the officials found out and they had him executed oh really yeah they killed him bro they showed kim jong-un yeah there was like yeah he's watching squid games and he's like okay Fire, fire range. Wow. But like that's what I'm saying. There's a bunch of weird stuff that could be going on the on uh that could be happening like that we don't know about. Like especially, and they made it into a TV and show. And they made it into a TV show because they based it off a true story. But yeah. that could really happen. That's what I'm saying. These like the whole point of Squid Games, I didn't really I didn't watch most of it. Did you you watch Squid Games? Oh yeah. You didn't watch it? Bro, Jay watched it, but I watched like a couple episodes. And I never really got into it. But I know the really? gist of the story though. Yeah, like yeah, bro, how bro. like the guys was like poor and stuff like that, and they were doing it for like the bread. Right. So like that was basically the same thing that was going on in South Korea, but it was just like they started taking some of the people and like making it like that's why the wealth that's why the government was pushing the welfare program so much just because it was they were trying to make South Korea look better. Like, right. oh like look, we're giving the poor people money, we're giving them opportunities, food, but really they were stealing the poor people and like making them work and doing all this stuff, like making them build like buildings, making them build like making them farm, like with food and stuff like that. Mm. That's Do how you they, know what happened in the end of school game? Uh, now, uh, didn't he like escape or nah, like he got like, sent back like one of the guys no like one of the guys well the like one of the guys that was part of the like participants or whatever mm -hmm. um he ended up being the guy that was really orchestrating everything oh but he was in the games but he was in the games but he really but he allegedly like died in the games like he lost yeah but he but but like he um and like he ended up being the guy who's like orchestrating like everything really yeah and uh like i forgot in the end like um that's sick i ain't gonna the lie. main character i forgot i think the main i don't know i th i think they're making a season two soon like mm -hmm. it's coming back it's coming out i think the character like he was supposed to be going in the airplane going back home or some shit but he ended up like going back and trying to stop the shit i don't know yeah don't yeah know, you know like, how they be they be doing the trilogy yeah thing. but like um so the, the they, that one guy was the one that was running the whole thing basically and he was part of the games and i guess they thought that he died or whatever in, yeah. the, in the games and and he ended up being the guy that was or because he was dying uh-huh right he was dying and shit like that like he was already dying so i think he wanted to like try it out yeah try doing something or something mm -hmm. i guess he was a rich guy just uh, trying to do something but like that's, yeah you, you should really watch it though like, that's it's cool yeah i might tune into that but like that's sick bro like there's a lot of things like, I, though there's a movie that i think you should watch it's called um oh, what was it called it, i think it was called like survivor or something so it was basically a movie about some similar to like uh similar to squid games but it was like it was like american movie it had what's chris hemsworth's brother's name the one that not the one that plays thor the other dude is that Liam? Liam Hensley. Liam, yeah. So it's he's in the movie. He's the main character. So basically, I'm not gonna spoil it for you because if you watch it, like the plot twist is crazy work. Oh. So basically, he has. Damn, a, I just spoiled. <laughs> no, no, I'm probably like, like I, I want to know. Squid Games came out like what four or five years ago, like like yeah, three, four years ago. Know, yeah, so like, yeah, I don't know yeah. if I'm watching anytime soon. But oh, like okay. this movie, like if you watch it, like that joke is crazy. So basically, this guy, 
he gets he goes to the doctor. Wait, hold on, you better spoil it. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna okay, spoil. Okay, I'm just gonna okay, tell you like the beginning, like what it's about. So <laughs> the guy goes to the doctor, and the doctor says like you basically have like six months to live. You're gonna die. Okay. And he has a family and kids. Okay. That and he's broke. Like he has no bread. And then he gets approached. Uh, he gets approached by a billionaire. He's like, oh, I see that you're about to die. This, that, and the third. Or the oh, the doctor gives him like a card saying like, oh. Uh, if you if you need somebody to talk to, talk to this guy. And the billionaire comes up to him. He's like, oh, I have an opportunity for you. If you survive 24 hours being hunted down by five people, every time you survive, you get $100,000 will be put into your bank account or a hundred or a million dollars. So at the end of this, you can, you're either going to die or you're going to get $5 million, even though you're going to die anyways. Right. So even if you survive one person and you die, you get a million dollars for your kids. And he basically did that. And what he's doing is like he's literally in New York City running around, like running for his life around New York City, trying right. not to get killed right. by these random people. And they're like hunters. Yeah, he doesn't know who he don't know who they are. The the guy was like, You don't know what these people look like. They can be looking like me, me and you, but they're really killers for real. Like they're like do this for a living. Mm. So they'll hunt you down. They're hunting you down. Is it on Netflix? <sighs> Amazon, I think. Amazon, Amazon Prime. Prime what yeah, I think called? it's uh Sounds I think pretty good. I think it's called The Hunted. Something like that. The Hunted or The Hunter, it's a pretty good movie. I ain't gonna lie. And I was, I, was, I think I watched it with Jay and her family. And the, there's like a plot twist at the end, bro. Psh, that was a fire. It was a crazy ass plot mm-hmm. twist. Yeah. Oh, I got a question. I was gonna ask this before, but wait, what do you think is the best like movie plot twist? I seen this. I seen somebody ask this before. I don't know if you have like one off the top of your head of like the greatest movie plot twist that you remember. Greatest movie plot twist. Yeah. Like something that's like oh like it was like dang like you didn't even think it was gonna be like that like something like uh I wouldn't say this is the greatest movie plot twist but, but it really caught me off guard yeah I forgot what it was called the it was called maybe the damn okay so so this guy I guess it, came, it ended up like this guy I, I I'm pretty sure we talked about this what like when he. I think he got into a car crash or some shit like that with yeah. his family and shit. Uh huh. Um, he's trying to find his kid, or he's trying to find like some like he's like he's like yo, my family's like in trouble. Like my kid and my, oh, my dog, like my my mo- fractured, fractured, yeah, fractured, oh, fractured. Caught me off guard. Yeah, that shit, yo. When he ended up being like he's like nobody's there. Like yes, he's, bro. like he's just fucked up. Like yeah, that yeah. shit. That shit really took me in a loop. Because like, I was really, was like, wondering, like, what the heck is going on? Yeah, like, I'm like, yo, his kid's not there. Like, his kid's and it's Like, did it end up, like, like he never had him or something? Like, or, or like, they died? Or, like, what, what, what I think happened? I forgot I what happened. I think it was, like, he was, like, imagining it because of how right. bad the car crash was. Right, like, yeah. So, I think he... I don't know if he had a family, but I think he did... People, let me know in the comments if we were saying this wrong. Right, I think like, he... I think he didn't have a family, but he got into a car crash and he got like his, he had a really bad concussion so bad that he thought like he had a family and mm, like he was so trying he just to, imagine he that just family. imagined that whole thing. Yeah. The, which, yeah. That shit fucked my head up. Yo, I'm nah, like, that was what? crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That was a good that's one. Just, that's just, that's just good. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I have two. The one, I don't know if you watched it. Chris put me onto this. I think you know where I'm going. Old boy. You ever watch uh, Old boy? I didn't watch it because you guys told me how fucking weird that shit is. Yo, that <laughs> was me. That might have been one of the craziest plot twists I think I ever seen in my life. Bro. Really? Do you want me to explain it to you, or like, are you gonna watch Yo, it? Yo, you. Is it on Netflix? I don't think like, so. I don't think they it, have it. It was anymore. mad long. Ago. It was a while ago. That was like that was like 2019. We yeah, watched it. Yeah, bro. Do you want like, me to explain it to you? Fuck it. Yeah. All right. So basically, right? So basically, he got kidnapped. From a, he got kidnapped and put into a, a hotel room, and he was trapped there for years, like twenty years. And he was given the same food every single day. He got, he was given Chinese food every single day, and like he watched the same show every single day. It was like literally a show of some girl growing up, whatever. And he didn't know why he got kidnapped, didn't know what was going on. And then after twenty years, they let him out. And like this whole time, he's trying to figure out who put him in, like the thing, right, right. whatever, right? So. He's what he's doing is since he ate Chinese food every day, he's going to every single Chinese food to eat it to see if that's the same Chinese place right. that they were given to him. It tastes the same. So now he found the Chinese food place. And he's like, I bet. Now I'm gonna wait to see because see who's picking up all like mad orders of Chinese food because he wasn't the only one that got caught. Mm-hmm. There was other people that they kidnapped, mm-hmm. but it's like a it was basically a big millionaire, right? 
So he find he found out who did it, right? The guy comes up to him. He found out who did who um what he did. And basically, he was saying like, "Oh, the guy came up to him. He's like, "Yeah, I put you in this. I I kidnapped you 20 years. Now, you could kill me right now, but I want you to figure out why I did it. And at the end, we you could kill me. I'll give you all this money, all this stuff, all your life back, but at the end you have to tell me why I did it." So now he's trying to figure out why he freaking did this stuff. Kill that nah, but like he had bread, like he get, he was just gonna give him like a million dollars because oh. now think about it, you twenty years you didn't have no money, yeah, yeah, no money. So now, and then so now, right? Oh my god, it was so crazy for it. So now, right? He's going trying to figure it out, and he meets a girl. He meets a girl, falls in love with the girl, and the girl he has sex with the girl, and the girl is trying to help him figure out the story. And now the guy is starting to piece the story together, right? So basically, the millionaire was. The millionaire was, I think, okay. The millionaire went to his school, right? There was, uh, there was both. They was all in the same school, and the guy that he kidnapped was the bully of the school, right? And I think the kid, the kid had a sister. It was the, or not the kid. The millionaire had a sister. It was, it was him, his sister, mom, dad. But they all died, right? Mm-hmm. He, they all died because the bully, which is the main character, they all went to like a boarding school seen their dad who was the dean having sex with his sister his daughter okay, hold on hold on okay slow it down so yeah, so yeah. the nigga the main character the main character went to school with the guy with the money yeah with the money the money the, oh, guy, wait, no, the guy with the money was the bully no the guy with the money was the one that getting bullied yeah that got bullied by the guy by the main character yeah because the main character seen his dad which was the dean having sex with his daughter like the family was the doing the main character seen the, his dad the millionaire's dad the million, millionaire's dad having, having sex, sex with, with his sister not not the main character's sister the, his sister so yeah his daughter yes oh wow so he seen that and he was like what the hell and he started telling everybody in school oh, that wow. the family's doing incest doing mad weird stuff oh, wow. and that's what they were doing back like at home and that like he told everybody and then starts going to the parents and now the parents looking at this guy like he a creep. Now nobody want to go to school. So now what happened was the dean, he went to his crib. He got depressed. He killed his daughter. He killed the wife. And then he tried to kill his son, but he the son survived. And he killed himself. So he basically had a mass suicide killing because right. his life was going downhill. Right. right? So now the guy, the, the millionaire has a scar on his thing because the bullet shot, he shot, the dad shot him in the chest, but it hit him in the shoulder or whatever. Right. So now... He's starting to re- realize, okay, yeah, that's why he put me in. And he told him that. He's like, oh, so did you figure it out? He's like, yeah, because you're the, because you're the, re- I'm the reason why your family died. He's like, yeah, correct. Like, that's the reason why I put you in because you were bullying me and you're the reason why my family's dead. And he's like, you know, but you know what else though? I made you relive that same thing. So what he did was he, so the guy had a daughter, the, the main character had a daughter, right? And when he got kidnapped, his daughter was three years old. And the, yeah, his daughter was three years old. And the whole time, like, remember when I told you they was watching TV? Yeah. It was footage of his daughter. Nah. It was footage of his daughter that he was watching because she's now orphanized. Because he didn't have, she didn't have no father. And I think her mother died. So now she was, she was growing up without parents. And they just saying like, oh, her dad was like a murderer or something. He's in jail because her dad killed the mom. Yeah. So, because the millionaire killed his wife. wife yeah. So, he, but he didn't know that was his daughter. And then when he came out, the guy, the millionaire, knew that was his daughter because he did, he, he, he built made, this. He made everything. He, but he, the thing is, he made, the, the daughter's grown up now. The daughter's older now because it's been 20 years. Yeah. So, the millionaire hired the daughter, but the but the daughter didn't know that was the guy. That was, the, that was her father. He, yeah. he hired her to be like a consultant, or whatever. So she would go and meet the bully, the guy, the main character. I don't know if you if I lost you. That, okay, so he he so the daughter met the dad. The daughter met her. The her daughter, dad. yes, the, the da- bully, the bully, yes. And, and she the, didn't know that was the dog because it was three. It was, it was 20 ten, years. Yeah, she was young. Past, yeah. But that was the girl he fell in love. Yeah, yeah, yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, bro. Nah. That was the girl because he set it all up, bro. So the millionaire set everything up. Oh. He made him, bro. He made him go to all these Chinese food pre- restaurants and he knew that he was going to go and look back there. 
So he made so he made like a fake business. So like and like he offered the job to that girl, which is his daughter, because he knew that the guy was going to go there to look for him. So then once he fe- found her and fell in love, now he technically nah. he literally did what his dad did to his sister. Yeah, basically, bro. And ruined his life. So oh. he's like, "Yep, that's the secret." And that that's what happened at the end, bro. So he basically did he basically manipulated his life into now falling in love with his daughter and having sex with his daughter wow. to get back at him. Wow. That was the greatest plot twist i ever heard in my life bro bro that is up there yo when i seen that i was like how did the guy like react bro he he looked at money like no did he kill himself he got the money but he's like he looked at he was like no because he starts realizing like he starts seeing the stuff and he's like no 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 and then he's like yeah this is your little girl bro and he shows the picture and then the guy's laughing in the background he's like crying (laughs) yo he's laughing (laughs) yeah he's laughing at him that nigga that but like it got to get back nah, that century. That bro. was the greatest that get back OD. I think I ever seen in my life, bro. I was that like, is nah. OD. Hold on. Like when I think about it, I'm like, yo, that's a I, yo. You know what's crazy? Me and Jay, I, I showed it to her parents, and they looked at me like, yo, you're sick. Why do you know about this movie? <laughs> <laughs> that joke was crazy, bro. Oh my god, that was a great movie, yeah, bro. That, that's that's a great plot. I like. Plot twist. Plot twist is good, bro. Plot twist is good. Like, plot twist like, is good, bro. What, what the fuck? Like, like it makes you think, like, yo, I what is go- I need? I need more movies like that. Exactly. Like, where bro. there's plot twist. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't watch. Like, where when I know what the hell is going on. Exactly. Like, I don't think I have. I seen a good plot twist since I don't know. There was a movie called Prisoner. I don't know if you watched that one nah. with a uh, Hugh Jackman in it. No, nah. it's a good movie. I think you should watch it. That's a good. That's a good plot twist in it. It's basically like abduction. Like some guy abducted his daughter and he's trying to figure out who he did it mm-hmm. and like he. Like there's a plot twist. I'm not gonna explain that one because right. that one you can watch. I think that one's on Netflix, but that was a really good one. Yeah, I wanna yeah. watch Old Boy now still, even though I know what's going on. That's bro. Hard, when bro. I seen that, I'm like, no. And like the girl who the girl who was his daughter, it was a did she did she ever find out? Like did no. they tell him? Oh wow. She was like, he was like, please don't tell her. He's like, I could tell her if you want. <laughs> like he's like, nah, don't tell her. So like he he felt he felt Is fe- he is he, he is he still going uh He wait, was no, in love I mean, with her, bro. Yeah, but is he still like he was nah. dating her. Yeah, but like now nah, at the time, nah. He told her like, yeah, I'm, you know, you're never gonna see me again. <laughs> wow. As he found out, he gave her like a letter, and she still don't know, bro. That's a dad. <laughs> wow. Crazy work, bro. Crazy work, bro. That's crazy work. When I heard bro. that, I was like, nah. But nah, the Prisoner is a pretty good one. Prisoner is a really good like a uh, movie. I think you should watch that one. Mm. I think it's on Netflix. Either Netflix or like it's definitely on Amazon Prime. I know Amazon Prime got everything. Oh, yeah. But. Uh, oh, one last story I got for you, bro. It was it was actually another good movie you should watch. You ever watch uh, Deliverance on Netflix? Did you yeah. watch that? You should watch it. It's pretty good. It's so basically right. Deliverance, the movie Deliverance was based off like a true story, where the whole movie is about like a demon house that's like possessing like a family, and it was a true story. Like there was a house in Indiana. It was called the, the Ammons House, and it was a black family. It was like a mom who lived with her three kids, and there was like the house was like possessed. And like the house was like possessing their kids. What the hell happened? Fucking fly just. Like, oh, I thought some ear type shit. I'm, I thought something touched. I was like, oh nah. Yeah. <laughs> but like, so like basically, the house was possessing their kids. Like the kids was like speaking in different languages and like w- walking up the walls, doing crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. So th- that's not even the main. I-, I was telling about the pod before, but the whole point is like that the movie was based off that. But so that house was bought by, um, his name was. You know who Zach Bag- uh, Bagans is? It's the dude who who made the Ghost Adventure show. You know that. You know Ghost Adventures, how yeah, they do. Yeah, where they try to find. They, they go into like but the. I never watched it. Oh, but you know like the gist of it, right? Yeah, yeah. I so know. the main guy who runs Ghost Adventures, his name is Zach Bagans. He bought that house in 2016, and he did a documentary about it, where he, it was called the Demon House, and he I think it dropped in like 2018. But then after 2018, he demolished the house because like that junk changed his life, bro. So like what what he's known for in Ghost Adventures is like towards the end of the show he'll lock himself in the crib by himself dolo and he's only has cameras around but it's nobody in there. So when he's in there, he's laying down in the bed and he hears like something's banging at the door and it's like growling, like grunting. He's like what the hell? And he's like yo, get away from the door. And something's banging at the door, banging at the door. And then he's he sees like a dark shadow go like across the room. And I don't know if it's going at him, but like it's like at a weird camera angle. But you see like a shadow walk across the camera. And then he said ever like ever since he's seen that shadow, he felt something in his eye. And like he didn't know what it was. Like it felt weird. And he went to the eye doctor. He's, his vision started going bad. And he said he developed like 
a, a rare, not a rare, but it was like a form of uh, like a like vision impairment or whatever, where he was seeing double, and the doctors couldn't even like explain to him where that came from. Like it just happened like so suddenly. Like those that happens to people like when they're born or like when they get older. Mm-hmm. But literally, it happened to him as soon as he seen that dark figure, his vision went crazy. Like he was seeing like double of everything. Mm-hmm. So they was like, we can do surgery on your eyes, but there's a chance that you can go blind. Like there's a real high chance you can go blind. So it's either you you do the surgery and go blind, or you have to wear these prism glasses for the rest of your life. So he was like, bro, I'm not going to risk it like going blind. So yeah. I'm going to take these prism glasses. So basically, because if it wasn't that, whatever he's seen, bro, messed up his freaking vision for the rest of his life, bro. God, dang. Like imagine, bro. Oh, he's seen something go to- or like go past them. Go so. past them or go towards them, and it messed up his vision forever, bro. Mm. Like imagine seeing just everything. one eye? No, oh, both, both his eyes. Like oh, okay. everything he sees is double. So now, like, if like if he takes his glasses off, he sees two of everything, two of like the cameras, everything. Oh shit! Like, it's that bad. You, wait, oh, what are prism glasses? It's like I think it like centers everything. It centers everything. Yeah, it's like special glasses. So like you know how glasses like like focus everything. Right, right, right. I think prism glasses make everything like come together. Okay. Because everything he's seeing like stuff like this, and it's mm-hmm. like all blurry and stuff. Like he's seeing everything. Would you double. T- do that surgery? Nah, I don't think I'm doing yeah, that. Yeah, I think I'm doing the prism glasses nah. my whole life. But like that's crazy though. Like yeah, one crazy. one ghost adventure changed Cuz life, bro. Wow. It, it was a uh, film. Yeah, he no? filmed it. It was a, he made it into a documentary. It's on oh, uh, wow. Amazon Prime. Oh wow! But after that documentary, he's like, nah, nobody should ever come into this house ever again. After that, did he break it down or something? Yeah, he tore it down. Nice. But it's like, Damn. yo, that thing affected him that bad, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. That's why, he, hey, bro, we that's why we pick and choose what goes we we do, bro. We do that. We do the fake stuff, people. Stuff we do is not real. At all, <laughs> yeah. niggas, niggas, niggas want to be funny and shit. <laughs> hey, bro, tune into the haunted video. We haunted video out now. People go tune into that. But hey, Fritz, we're going to that end. The end of the podcast where we got. I got some hypothetical questions. You ready, brother? Yeah. So, I got a. I got a blind ranking for you. Remember we did blind ranking with animals. There we yeah. So now I got part two for you. So I got blind ranking animals you could beat in the fight. Part two. All right. Let's do it. So let's see. Let's see if you can get better than last time. So first animal is a sea otter, a giant sea otter, like the ones that be in the Amazon, the big ones. I got to see what it look like. Them things they can grow to like five feet. They big though. Them things scary looking. Bro. <laughs> you got to see what it look like. But it's just one though. Ooh. Yeah. That's a dude look scary. Just one of them though. One of them. Oh, these look dude look scary. Um, I don't think they gonna do something to me for real. So like I said, one. Is you can beat them. Definitely five is like, nah, it's cooked. You're cooked for you, bro. I don't think they could do something for, to me for real, like crazy. Like, and they look like they eat um fish. Fish. They still bite, though. Yeah, but I feel like if I give them a cool, like, a cool, nice roundhouse kick, <laughs> a, nice, a nice kick um, to the face. They cook? They, they might be cooked. <laughs> That's about as low. Okay. Ooh, six feet? Yeah, they oh, wow, they tall. They tall. <laughs> they taller than me. They like- <laughs> hold on, hold on. They got some might on them. Uh, I think, I think I'm a, I think I'm gonna put it at, at because they they look soft. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They look soft, so it's like they look like they could like they look soft. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna put it at three. Three? Okay, cool, cool. I'm gonna put it at three. All right, next one is a kangaroo. Yeah, this is a pretty. I'm, I'm letting you know now. This is a pretty tough one, bro. This one is very, very difficult because it's like kangaroos don't play. They don't play, but can they, you beat a kangaroo? Like, are they big though? Nah, they pretty big. They big, though, like think. they. Six, I, think, I think. I think they. Let me see, bro. How tall a kangaroo? Let me look. Bro? I'm, not, I'm They probably gotta be like. They can't be more than six foot. How tall? Nah, not more than six foot. But is, six uh, foot six. They my dad height? They they MJ? Oh yeah. They Kobe height is crazy. Oh, six foot six, huh? That's and that's and brolic. Nah, that's no way. No way. No way. No six way. No way. Six foot six. Six foot six. No, that that can't be right. Like be be fucking for real. <laughs> be for real. If this kangaroo <laughs> comes towards me, bro, I'm, I'm 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 not doing nothing. <laughs> I'm I'm. What type of kangaroos they got at the freaking zoo? They things don't be six six. Holy crap! That's a big. That ain't gonna Some lie. kangaroos can can even be recorded at eight foot feet tall. I feel like they're joking. Nah, there's no this way. This has to be a joke. What type of kangaroo is that? Nah, that thing's huge, bro. Kangaroo six foot four. 
Yo, these things is okay. So it says maybe if they're just standing I up. Th- I, I think some of them be. I think mainly some of them be like. Be like they could be like five, five like foot, five like, like, like cool, five something like me. I feel like six six, 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 six is crazy. I feel like six six is crazy. <laughs> like <laughs> they, like you just all like you just see a a uh, horde of six six <laughs> niggas. I refuse to believe that. Nah, that's wild, bro. I refuse to believe that. That's but wild. I think. Remember, I'm letting you know. I'm letting you know. Heads know up, this is a tough this, one. This is hard. Yeah, this is a tough one. But. I already put the seat. Can I switch around? Nah, you gotta please. Leave. Nah, you gotta please. leave. But think about it. You, like sea otters, they're in water. So if they catch you in the water, they might they might mess you up. If you like a kangaroo, might like at it two might do me bad, bro. I mean, them, I, niggas, them niggas use the tails and the kick. Yeah, like, I know. The tails. And, I don't think I'm gonna put it. I can't put it over a sea otter. So it, gonna, it has to be four. Four. Okay. Okay. So next one is a lion. Yeah. See, I know there has to be more. <laughs> there has to be something <laughs> worse. I think the thing that's worse is gonna be some in the water, bro. And I know what you guys. <laughs> I know. I know already. A Why lion? are you not doing nothing with a lion? <laughs> that's the thing, bro. I want to. I should have switched, bro. Sea otter should have been second. Third should have been a kangaroo. Five is should have been lion. I mean, you can put five, you can put line at five still. I understand where I could put it, but I feel like I know I, I'm gonna put it. I'm I'm gonna put it five. Okay, I, okay. I'm not doing shit with a line. Though. All right, next one is a golden retriever. A golden retriever? Yeah, the dog. <laughs> a golden retriever? Like they get big, don't they? They get big, but, but it's like, but I you think can, you can beat a golden but, retriever. No, I could whoop a golden retriever ass. Yeah, <laughs> like, I could whoop a golden retriever ass, but I I feel like. If I put it at one, it's not gonna be safe. But if I put it at two, I feel like it's gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna put it. Is it gonna be worse? I mean, is there gonna be something like? I'm gonna put it at one. You gonna put it at one? Uh, I know it's gonna be bad. I know. The last one is a deer. Oh yeah! You did. Oh, you did yeah, it, bro. Yeah, yeah. You did it, bro. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that's hard. That's not bad. That's bro. hard, bro. That's hard. Go, bro. That's a good I, list. I, I came clutch. Bro. That's a good list. I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 Cause deer's got I, antlers. Deer's got antlers. I think I would probably put golden retriever second at deer first. Really? You think so? Cause I'm thinking deers. Deers are strong. Deers are strong. Like a golden retriever, not as strong as a deer. Deers get hit by cars. Get up, keep moving, low key. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, like you put, you hit the right deer. Some deers is cut, but like some deers is I like seen some big ass deer. Yeah, bro. like especially if a deer hit a car, that car done. Your yeah. car total. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. So you imagine you fighting that? Yeah. I yeah. think you picked the good yeah, I list. Think I did. I, I did good. I think you picked the best I think one that was possible. The best one. So you got you got golden retriever one deer. Two, sea out of three, kangaroo four, lion five. That's no, pretty I good. Think there's nothing I could have did differently. That's good, bro. That's pretty much yeah. good. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, I can't clutch with that last all one. All right, all right. Let's go, bro. All right, I got a question for you, bro. So, you make ten thousand dollars a day for the rest of your life. Ten thousand dollars a day, but the but the thing is, once a day randomly, you'll be paralyzed for thirty seconds. Yeah. You. That was too quick. That was. Yeah. So you do that? Yeah. So like right now you won't be you'll freeze That's for 30 why. seconds. Imagine you're driving. Um I'd stop driving. Oh, you'll stop driving? Definitely. Dude. I'd definitely stop driving. I would not have You have a chauffeur? I wouldn't. Yeah. I, I'm making ten thousand dollars a day. <laughs> Nigga, yeah. Dang. I have a chauffeur. Yeah, I think driving is probably the only thing that really like will mess you up. Fuck you up. Yeah, because imagine you're driving and you're just like and now you can't yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah, now over. you cook. It's ah. literally over. It's literally over. I think I, that's easy. I that's easy. Nah, do I'm definitely going to do ten thousand dollars a. And you said thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Yeah, that might be the longest thirty seconds of my life. Yeah, <laughs> but I think it'd go back pretty good. Like, you think it'd be straight? You said a day too. It's once not a day. constant. No. Yeah, it's easy. Once a day. Yeah. Okay, easy. that's not bad. That's not easy. Bad. Even if it's care. randomly, it's all right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Like, literally, bro, I'm telling you, bro, like, I wouldn't, like, I literally avoid driving all the time. That's the only thing. That's what I'm saying. That, that was that was my big issue, like, with the driving, because, like, imagine, like, I'm driving, I freaking croak, and, like, I right. just, and now I'm, like, at the steering wheel, but, like, of course, like, I'm probably going to hire a chauffeur, because right. I'm going to be making enough money. 
Think about it. That's true. Or my like your girl could drive. Yeah, you that's like, true. That's true. Because like, like if I imagine I drive, like I don't think she would want me to drive. Cause we might freaking Hell die. No. We might freaking Her die. Her life is in stake too. Yeah, but she better not want me to drive. That's true. Don't be one of them. Yeah, <laughs> I want to be passenger prison. All right, you gonna die? With me, <laughs> it's all right, man. Yeah. Unless, she, unless, unless she I had, had that paralyzed in the state beginning. In the beginning, in yeah. the beginning of the day. And then, then, yeah, uh, you can, I, yeah, I, I drive. drive that. I, hey, I can drive today. She you gonna know? ask you like, did you have your episode today? I was like, nah. <laughs> 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 I didn't have it today. I didn't have it today. You, I, 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 you can drive. You can drive, bro. I, can, I'm like, I might go any minute now, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Exactly, bro. That's yeah. easy. Ten k. That is good. That's an easy, easy one. I did that. Day? Oh, yeah, yeah. I do that one. That's easy. Okay, now I got another one. So, you get five thousand dollars for every elderly lady you push onto the ground. Oh, that's sad. But you get taxed twenty five hundred dollars a month if you don't push down any old lady. Oh, that's trash. So you have to push down so an old lady. Basically, month. you have to push it down once a if month. You want that five k? You said five k. Five k every time you push somebody. Every time you push an old lady on the ground, it's five k. But every time you like say you don't do it. So say you like within a month, like you have to push down one old lady like once a month, or you get taxed twenty five hundred dollars. You get $2,500 taken out of your bank account. Taken out of your shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. And you have to do it once a day. Or nah. one, once a month. Yeah, once a month. But... And you get that 5K. I might trip one by accident. Like, I'm, like, running. Like, imagine... Like, I'm gonna pretend like I'm doing a scare run. I just hit somebody. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's one. What... What... <laughs> what is considered an old lady? Mm. Over 65. Over 65. Retired. So she got. Damn, so she gotta really look like yeah. old lady, bro. She got. Really, this is crazy because we was talking about kids the other time. We would say we were rocking them kids. Rocking y'all lying. Y'all that was not you. No, oh, you was talking about you hit them. You go for the kids, bro. Oh, when I said yeah. oh of the fight. Yes. Honestly, you know what's crazy? Um, when when uh one of my coworkers be looking at our podcast, yeah. and shit, nigga was like. Nah, bro, you have to go for the elderly, bro. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> really? Yeah, the nigga said. The nigga said, nah. Instead of going for the kids, go for the old people and disabled. Disabled's wild, bro. Shit, that was what did he do? He putting people in wheelchairs. He knocking people over. <laughs> That's a fight one. <laughs> you won that fight, yeah. Nah, whoever said you sick, bro. So yeah, I, nah, the nigga is sick. But like, <laughs> but like, um, pushing old lady. That's clean, bro. You could do that. Yeah, but bro, like, yeah, run through time. Bones are brittle. Yeah, you pick them that, up. That know? could be like, yeah, yeah. I really hope like because they do I, bruise I wanna, easily. Yeah, right. So I was like, I want to nudge them, and like, I really hope that they fall because if I push them too hard, bro, that <laughs> could might, end up some bad. They man. might break their wrist. They might break their arm. And broken. And broken then wrist, if you don't push like, them hard enough, they might look at you like, oh, he's assaulting me. Yeah. Exactly, but you gotta make it look that's like an accident. Twenty five, that's twenty five hundred off my shit. Yeah, Jody, I need to get paid. <laughs> exactly, I'm saying, I, I ain't gonna lie, gonna you can rack it up, bro. You can make a hundred k a week, a month off that. Yeah, nah, honey, nah, nah. Right, but you say, you say, oh no, yeah, you get five every time. Every time you do it, yeah. So, dang, that's a lot. That's like what two? That's like no, that's you can't. That's not two hundred people. Nah, that might be two hundred people. That's two hundred, bro. That's two hundred old ladies for a hundred k a month. Nah, I can't do that. You can't do two hundred. Maybe man. twenty. Maybe I'll do twenty people. Yeah, that's what. No, that's, that's no, no. I no, think twenty. That's twenty. Twenty. Oh, we don't know math. I'm yeah. sorry, guys. I'm sorry <laughs> that our math is not good. Yeah, that was <laughs> that so is bad. Od. <laughs> That is twenty. We said uh, we two hundred is a hundred. Ah, that's embarrassing. Cut that out. That's bad. <laughs> that's so bad. But nah, I'm doing that it. That is twenty. Uh, twenty a month. That's cool. But like you gotta be, you gotta be accidental, bro. Mind you, there's 31 days in the, in, there's like 30 days in in a, in a month. Bro, I'm going to. So New you York. gotta do it more than you got. I'm going to Times Square and I'm just gonna be running around and act like I'm doing a V, like yo run, and I'm just gonna be like shove somebody by accident. I might look like a hole, but they don't know what I'm going through right now. <laughs> they don't understand what what's what what's at stake right now. I might, I might do it. I, I might. You might. It's just like it's sad. That could end you up in fucking jail. Jail, yeah. but you just. Uh, Old lady assaulter, bro. Yeah. Basically. Terrible. You just, like, like think about it, bro. Your pattern is literally old ladies. Yeah. You said old ladies specifically or old people? 
Old, no, nah, old people in general. Like, Elderly it's people. old people. Like, yeah. Like, it's old people. Straight old people. Like, you're just going to look like the the mass. But then, bro, there was a dude in New York that was. Pusher. You seen that dude in New York that was punching random women? Did you see that? That doesn't make shit. Oh, that doesn't any that. type of, like. That doesn't make it good. Okay. okay <laughs> I'm cool. just saying. Yeah. But they did yeah, catch I him for that. assault. I'm, I'm, yeah, like. Oh, wait, that nigga was tweaking. I know, that was wild. That, I mean, like, <laughs> for what? Like, why? Like, who wakes up in the middle of, like, just like, let me just start. Start some trouble. assaulting women. <laughs> women. <laughs> nah, he would really go up to women. Start punching women. Like, that was wild, bro. That was wild. That was crazy, but nah. Yeah, well, I might it's, do it though. I might do it for 10k. I don't know 5k. Hey man, this is why people. This, this is not real. No, nah, this is all hypothetical yeah. situations. I'm just saying, bro. I, I, really, if I was in that situation, I probably wouldn't even do it. Same, to bro. Be honest, because I'll be scared. I'll be too nervous. I'll probably. I'll be, be in debt though. Oh my god, 2500 a month. That's wild. That's stupid, bread. Yeah, that's crazy work. But oh, oh, actually, I have another question. I had a. This is a question that I, remember, I think somebody asked or I seen that like, going around. They said. Is there do you all right, Fritz? This is in your opinion. In your opinion, do you think there's more fish or insects in the world? What do you think there's more of? Like Ins- numbers, insects. You think so? Nah, I don't think so. I think there's fish. Mm, well, yeah, you got to say fish because of how vast the fucking ocean is. Honestly. Because there's, you know, there's fish at the bottom that we don't even know. Like there's right. like a mad fish, right? But there also, but. Actually, that the reason why I say insects, insects, is because I know whales like they be just eating up, eating all the fish all the time. Like yeah. they got their mouth open and shit. And, yeah, yeah, and eating, eating all the plankton eating all the, and everything and like, shrimp. Yeah, so but like that's why I be saying like. But like with fish. insects though, it's like insects in like a colony of ants. There'd be like a thousand or more. Right. And like they 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 die and like like a fly would die in a week, but then they'll repopulate like a, like a hunt, like ten of them. Right. So every time one dies, there's ten more. And there's you know how many flies are on the freaking world. Right. I think oh, that's a. I know there's billions of insects, but I don't know if there's billions of fish. That's why I said insects. I, insect. I think it's insects. Mm. Honestly, because I think insects. I think fish die way more. Well, no, well. I wouldn't say it die more frequently, but like, um, let me see how many species of fish there are actually. Yeah, yeah, find that out, bro. Let me see how many, how many people. Let me know in the comments how many. They don't fucking know. There, there, there's some people that be like, oh, the circumference of the Earth holds nah, this much water, and the volume it, of the Earth with this much. Nah, nah. there ain't nobody. Hey, I'm sorry to disappoint y'all or disrespect y'all, but y'all ain't that smart. What the heck? There's only 32,000? 32,000 of what? Then the total number of living fish species is about 32,000 of fish species. That's it? I don't think so. I There's think no, that, I, no. Oh, no. That's, that's, species. that's species. Dang. That's species. So there's, that's different species. So different species. So 32,000 of different fish species. So there could be a million species of one thing. Exactly. Holy crap. Dang, nah. that's OD. That's a lot. <laughs> that's OD. That's a know. lot. 32,000? There's not even... Oh, my God. Like, a fish? That's yeah. a lot of things, bro. And that's just what we know of. Yeah. There could be 50,000. Are you doing the math? Hell no. Oh, I was about to say... God damn. What? Hold on. Is this trillion or billion? What? Yeah, this trillion. Trillion what? It says the best estimates... By scientists, place the number of fish in the ocean at one point five. What? What are you saying? One point five, bro. What is that? What number is that? That's three point five. Three point five trillion. I think that's trillion, gang. That's a lot of zeros. (laughs) That's a lot of goddamn zeros, bro. Oh my gosh! I think that's trillion. Okay, how many? How many insects are in the world? Oh my god! Nah, it's definitely insects. How much? Bro, junk sa- this junk says 10 quintillion, bro. Oh, yeah, I fucking knew it. <laughs> 10 quintillion. 10 quint. What does that even mean? I quintillion? Even I, never, I never went up to How quintillion. How many zeros man. is that? Quintillion? I would assume 18 like eight, zeros. Eight, eight, eight. Oh, shit. That's OD. They could take over the world for real if they were smart enough. Oh, man. What if they were big? Oh, yeah. What cut? 
we're done. Not even if they were like our size. If they're like the size of like a dog. Oh yeah, we're, we're done. Oh, oh my god, god. we're getting god. run. We're getting cooked. There's no way we're like living through that. that. If there was, if there was the size of that shit right there, like yeah. it's over with. Like if there, even if there was the size, the size of this, if there was the size of Croc Gang, I know it's over with. Like imagine like an ant that big. That's too. That's od. That's scary. That's scary, bro. A <laughs> fly. God. A fly that big is yo. OD. They had to nerf niggas, bro. I know they had to. If, if we if, if we say we the we the you know top of the food, top chain. Of the food chain because they got nerfed, bro. Yeah, oh yeah, that's, real shit. Bro. We the we the only top we only the top of food chain because we you feel me? We are we are just that's what I'm saying. We're just we just got the mind and intellect. But I'm yeah. just saying if these things was like made to be like op, it's cooked. Like imagine I was thinking about this the other day. Imagine a, a spider could fly. That's what I'm saying. That's the only thing that's holding them back. I ain't gonna lie. Imagine could fly. Where is it? Bro, that's over. Where is it, man? If a spider could fly, bro. Oh my god. The possibility is endless, bro. With them niggas would tweak. Oh no, that would be so bad, bro. Tweak, bro. A tarantula with wings is like a bat. Oh my god. A bat with like eight arms, bro. Oh my god. I don't even think I got arachnophobia. Yeah, I don't like that. I can't do it, bro. I don't like that, bro. I just I think just the with like I don't mind spiders. Like if I see a spider, I'm gonna kill it. I'm not gonna be like, ah, I'm scared. But I'm just gonna be like, just looking at it, just look creepy. I it got the I eyes. I really just don't like how it looks. Like with all I, the all the I, legs. With all the legs, I don't like how it looks. I I hate how it looks. I hate the butt. Yeah. Like the way the butt is shaped. Yeah. I hate the the eyes and then the teeth are are literally the right there. Like, like I just oh. can't do it, bro. Nah. It just looks so creepy, bro. And them things will never go extinct, extinct, bro. Yeah. If there's because ten they, quintillion they make, bugs, and you know they make. Babies out the ass, yeah, like, bro. They make babies crazy. Whenever they re- repopulate, them junks be like in thousands, like mm-hmm. ants. That one queen birth all them ants, bro. Like literally, once you once you kill if, if once you kill like a spider and the spider's pregnant, bro. That shit Thing spreads. spreads bro. Bro. You seen them videos I've where they step them. on it and they start uh, crawling out? Uh, nah, yeah, I seen them videos. I'd be bro. scared when I'm about to kill a spider. That's why I don't like killing the big ones. And exactly. Actually, I, actually, you gotta kill the big ones because I'm like I'm not gonna lie. If a, if a bug lived to be this big, you live the good life. You gotta die now. <laughs> this is this is where you end. This is your, this is I, I say it all the time. Jay be like, nah, don't nah. He gone. He's this big. That means he ate good. Right. He lived a long time. Right. He probably survived a lot. Right. This is the end of the road. Now now I'm final <laughs> boss. I'm final boss and you're dead. <laughs> I'm final boss. You're not getting past me. Everybody, everybody else, you let it slide. Not me, bro. Hell no. Nope. He's done. Hell like no. qu- ten quintillion. Wow, how do you even figure that number out, bro? Whoever feel it's just estimates. Yeah, they just freaking said it. They just said anything. Yeah. That's all the guess, bro. But I got uh, I got two more things, bro. This one's like more of like the comic side. So you get a million dollars tax free right now, but you have to live with the Joker for a year. Would you do oh, it? Oh nah. But the thing is, he won't kill you, but he will put you in life threatening situations that may kill you or put you in jail. It's just one year. Okay, so he won't kill me. He won't kill you. Because niggas... Like, he won't kill you. He won't give you no Joker gas, none of that. But he will put you in, like, life or death scenarios that may get you killed or may put you in jail. But it's all for a million dollars tax-free. For a year, you said? For one year. Just got to live with him. He your roommate. Joker be tweaking. He be tweaking, bro. Like, it, like it ain't just, like, regular shit like yeah he be robbing like, banks with it's like like he it's not even that too like robbing banks cool i think cool yeah that's little shit for joker bro. i know that nigga be trying to take over the fucking world gotham type shit, i know bro. like he be that joker guy shit ain't no joke bro mm-hmm. and imagine he left me for dead and i get beat up by batman that's what i'm saying <laughs> you know what you know what it is bro <laughs> joker's gonna leave you for dead <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass like whooped. that's no. You're gonna get your no. You're definitely gonna get your ass whooped by Batman. Yeah, Batman. I don't know if I want to get my ass whooped. <laughs> Batman don't hold back. I know. If you fucking with the Joker, bro, he not holding back for you. Yeah, he not. He not gonna help me. He not gonna help you. He not gonna be like, yo, let me let me go 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 soft on this nigga, bro. I know that's a year, but that's a million dollars though. We act like a million dollars is nothing, huh? We act like a million dollars is not enough. That's a lot of bread. No, that's a lot of bread, (laughs) but it's like, is it enough for a year with Joker, bro? Bro, they don't. Okay, the thing is though, you'll be dead. You'll be you'll be jailed. Mm -hmm. But if you're fucking with bat, if if. Joker's fucking with Batman type shit. Yeah. You're not going to die. 
Yeah, you're not gonna die. Like you're, you're you'll because, get beat up because because Batman don't kill motherfuckers. Nah, he gonna beat you. He's gonna hurt. He's gonna though. whoop your ass. Yeah, but like, and you go into like Arkham type shit. Yeah, but like, hmm. nah, that's what, I'm just afraid of going to pr- prison, bro. Like, imagine I get, <laughs> imagine I'm one of his henchmen. I got the Joker mask on. I rob a freaking bank. But think about it though. Yeah. And then I but get think caught. About it. Joker might bail you, might not bail you out, but he might he might kick you out. Uh, like help me, uh, oh help break me up, break you out. That is true. That is true. Because he he be he be in in and out of Arkham like like it's yeah like it's, like it's nothing like it's bro. nothing yeah Niggas just be in and out. That's why I don't understand this nigga Batman, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, 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 that Arkham shit not doing shit. For I know he keeps putting him in nigga, Arkham and they get out right there like they they can't get out. <laughs> Like two days later, like, literally, bro. Batman ain't doing shit for nobody. He's not. He's just out. He's just doing. <laughs> I'm. I, I. I started to think about it. Like this nigga. It, this nigga Batman might might like the thrill of it. Like just, oh, just like, <laughs> like he, just, he might just love being Batman. I think so. Like he, like he gets like a high off of it. No, seriously. I think that's really. I think that's what his life consists of. Like like he without if without Batman. Like He's and not, he and he got to be Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Like I think he would kill himself, bro. I don't think. I mean, think he, he would. He would because you got to get. Like, you got to think about. It. He got his parents with. His parents got killed. That's cool. So he got to get away from that. Cause, get away from. Because Batman least, parents didn't die. Bruce Wayne parents died. Yeah, so, and he. I think. I think that nigga. That nigga created his own. Per, like persona. His own persona. Yeah, I know. and that persona became him. Yeah, and now. Bruce Wayne is really out the. Bruce Wayne is basically like his other half. Yeah, like he really he loves being Batman more than Bruce Wayne. Loves being Batman because there's no way he's there's gonna no way keep... you're putting your you, you you you're not killing this nigga exactly, and you're just putting him in in a in, in, in insane a, asylum, in insane, insane asylum for him to break for him out. To break out two days later. It's impossible for what? you to not like doing that shit. But I might I'm. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I don't think so either. I, I don't know. Because I'm afraid, it. right? I'm afraid I'm gonna be in a heist with him or doing something bad, and he plants a bomb in there, and I can't get out. Right now, I'm dead. But he can't kill you though. <laughs> he can't kill. I didn't say he's not killing you, but uh, he puts you in situations where you could die. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. a situation. Yeah. He's like, you could get out, but like, if you don't get out in time, you gonna explode. Cause right. I don't think I'm gonna get out in time, yeah, bro. Me neither, bro. I'm, the Batman not gonna save me. Nah, not at all. So I don't know. I don't like that, bro. I, even a million dollars a lot, but Joker is too much work, bro. Joker is too much work. If bro. it was maybe the Penguin, maybe. Yeah, Penguin. Yeah. Anybody else, honestly. Bane? No, Bane. Yeah, nah, Bane, Bane, is, Bane is crazy. Bane is crazy. No, I don't like Bane. Uh, shit. I can be with who else? What? Uh, Mister Freeze. Man, I could be with Mister Freeze and him. Yeah, he cool. You know I, mean? he, I think they cool he, people. He, he just he just worried about his wife. Type yeah, thing. he cool people. Got, what about the Riddler? No, he's a little creepy. He's a little creepy. He is creepy. Yeah, but like, yeah, he is creepy. He's too I, creepy. I, I, I I read a comic where the Riddler stopped stop fucking around type shit. Like, oh, really? Like he was going stupid? And that nigga became like, basically like a Joker type shit. Really? That's what I'm about to say. He's literally like, Joker, he stopped, but he's he stopped, not. He stopped doing riddles type shit. Like, oh, he, like, he, <laughs> he said, started fuck ta- that gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> he started talking in real life. Nah, that nigga, that, that nigga started like, like he was talking riddles, but it wasn't no like, hey, Batman, try to like, try to like get this. Find me or Find something? me type shit. Nah, he was like, yeah, but I did this. Well, he wasn't really talking in riddles, but he's talking in like the third person. Yeah, like not third per- person, but like such like I don't know, like a just different. Like yeah, he, yeah, wasn't, yeah. he wasn't like it, it was just he just started killing niggas. Like, oh man, I'm about to say the Riddler is low key like Joker, but he's like a little held back. Yo, literally, he's like the literally person. the Riddler. The Riddler is like first of all, he's one of the smartest motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm saying, and like, and like he's. He's so he's so underrated Sick. because like he's he's he got that gimmick. Yeah. If he don't got that gimmick, bro, he's really up there with the Joker. He really could be up there with the mm-hmm. Joker. You That's feel what I'm me? Saying. That like really- that nigga. Yo, that when I tell you that that uh comic where that nigga was like, that nigga was like, yeah, bro. Like there was he was in front of these guards and shit. He was like, yeah, I know who you are, and I know your family. I know everything. So. If you if he really co- like told one of the guards mm-hmm. to like kill all the guards like really that was in front of yeah he was like yeah I know who you are so uh, you know if you don't do this I got your family did that and third I got everybody wow he just ended up like the guards basically ended up offing themselves offing themselves really because he's like yeah I, I got you I knew I know who you are like like he just manipulating everybody bro 
That nigga, in prison? That, yeah, I think it was in the arc. I don't know where he, he was breaking out of some place, but that nigga started tweaking. Same, bro. That, they had to nerf him because they don't want two jokers. Yeah, exactly. They don't they want, don't two, want jokers. two jokers, bro. That nigga, that nigga Riddler is a demon. That's scary, bro. If he, if he not that gimmick. I know that thing. That's what's holding them back, bro. The little riddle stuff, bro. Yeah, yes, sir. But thank y'all again for tuning in. Before we end the podcast, shout out to everybody on our Patreon. Subscribe now to our Patreon. We are going to post more uh, podcasts on Patreon. You guys are going to be able to get the back to school video that we're dropping on my birthday, which is next Friday early is going to be coming out on wednesday for y'all you're also going to get the freaking full version of the haunted video so y'all know what the real story is yeah i don't know tune into that subscribe on patreon all, the, all my patreon all our patreon subscribers will get all the good back behind the scenes content but first we gotta shout them all out you want to you want to shout them out uh fritz do you want to read their names sure let's see okay the one name you gotta remember, his name is Nud. It says Nud the Shield, but his name is Noah. It's Arabic. Okay. It's N U H. He DM me on Instagram because he said we've been butchering his name. Od. Oh uh, yeah. Shout thank, out to you, thank, Noah. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Noah. Let me see. Let's see, bro. Wait. Let me make sure everything is right. Uh, yeah. There was there was some new people that at, that joined. I think today, but I never got your. I didn't put your names in. But for all right, for the free subscribers, out uh, Jalen Strong. Levi O'Neal, yes, Jordan Smith, yep. Javerion Jackson. Yep. My boy. Habab <laughs> Shubushid. That was uh, pretty good. How, that's pretty good. I don't even know that's how I say, but that sound right. I think that sounds pretty good, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, I ain't mad at you. I heard big booty freaks. Hey, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Farmington Fleming. Uh, you sound like you wear glasses. <laughs> this thing, Farmington Fleming. I that can't be his real name. <laughs> that can't be his real name. That's like an NPC. I ain't gonna hold Yo, you. Yo, that's so crazy. Um, Gene Paul Senior. Hey, uh, Gene Paul Senior. Sound out Junior. Hey. Where's Junior at? Summer McIntyre. Shout out Summer. Yeah. Uh, Robert Shelton. O'Shea. Drew. Yep. Jaquavion. Shout out Jaquavion. I think he was the one that said he was either from Charlotte or Atlanta. I can't remember. Nah, or Houston. Might be one Atlanta, bro. Might be Atlanta. <laughs> might be Atlanta. <laughs> Jesse Rodriguez. Kev. Rob Quash. Yep. Cal. Nah. The Shield. No, that's Noah. That's Noah. Noah. That's no- I'm sorry, Noah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because he, just- he told me before. Shout out to you, Noah. Wow. <laughs> that, that's Noah. That's shout out Noah. <laughs> he said it's Arabic. That's, so it's like an Arabic name. Hey, shout out to you, man. Shout out to Noah. Isabel Graham, Leek, DJ Willis, Raymond Padilla. Yep. Uh, Alyssa Smith, Laquell Ingram. My boy from hey. Harlem. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> Ty- yeah. Tyrone, shout out Corey, shout out King Fry. Everybody thought that was you. I thought, uh, you know what's crazy? <laughs> I thought it was me. <laughs> I'm like King Fry. Did I did I do Patreon? Like, like subscribe without nah, the real shit, I thought it was me. Like hey, yo, bro. No, nah, real shit. I'm like, is that me? And second round steal. So the ten dollar D- tears. And ten dollars. So DJ Khalid. Yep. We the best, huh? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> we the best, bro. Yeah. We the best. Shout out Mohammed. Yep. Shout out to Mia. Shout out Trey Simmons. Trey Simmons, my boy from Houston. Now the first round lottery picks. How much is it? Oh no, the first round is the ten dollars tiers. The yeah, this second round the five dollar, right? No, the fi- the the one that you just read was the five. Not, yeah, the five dollar. Now we on the yeah. big now boy, the big ten dollars. The, the ten dollars. Shout out Tavon Cox, and shout out Leyland Poole. I think it's Leland. I think it's Leland. 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 Shout out Leland. Yeah, my that boy. sounds way better. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds way better. I'm sorry, Leland. That shout, sounds way better. Shout out to y'all, man. Thank y'all again for subscribing to our channel on YouTube. Thank y'all for tuning in to all of our episodes on YouTube. There's a lot more content coming, people. We I got a PC now. We're gonna be streaming. We're gonna be doing a lot more game shows. We're gonna do a lot. There's a lot more content dropping. And tune into the Patreon. You know, there's a lot of content on there already. We already got nine, ten plus episodes. There's gonna be a lot more coming in September. So don't worry. I know it'll be in a, uh, pretty late, but you know. A lot of things be going on. A lot of guys are still in school. We're still trying to get into the flow of the schedule. So tune into that. But any last words, Fritz? Different than regular, no regular gangster. <laughs>